start up good old Sky the Third. And there it comes. All right, I'm ready because last night after stream, I became the fishing master, Supreme Fisher, whatever the fuck title Estelle just got. Pretty hypo. Pretty hypo. It uh, actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because after the first one I did on stream where I just got fucked by RNG, and then the second time I did it I won. I was, uh, I was a little nervous about the other ones since they were more rounds. But the second round of the three, I one-shot. And the third round, I lost because he was- he fucking pulled shit out of his ass that were bigger than fucking the Kraken or some shit. I don't even know, man. But it was fucking annoying. But after the first time losing to the last guy, I beat him in the fishing. And like, the only annoying thing about that whole process was I never screwed up. I caught every single cast that I set out. The only thing that made me lose was RNG. So, I don't know. So that that was why fishing was a little annoying. So I'm here. I was here because I was trying to level up Zen a little bit uh, earlier today. And I wanted to get his weapon, but I never got it. So, it's like we're not getting it. So, let's get our party ready for next chapter. Uh, I think we're rocking Annalise. I think I'm gonna rock Chloe too. I just want all the cute girls tonight. So that, that's what we're gonna do. Let's, uh, yeah, party's fine. Even though Josh is level 117 and he would clap fucking everything. Let's, uh, unequip some people. Where the fuck are you, Zen? Yeah, they put him at the bottom where he belongs. Uh, I don't think you need these on, and... I might need to give that to someone else, I'm not sure. Alright, Annalise. Uh, what do we have on Chloe? Spiritual boots plus one. I mean, we can give her these, right? Oh, no, she loses- she loses a shit ton of speed, never mind. These boots are actually really good for her. Wow. Everything else would go up, but she doesn't need the other stats. Um, and this... Arts and agility. Agility going up isn't bad. But we lose... We're at 600 defense versus... We lose 75 defense. Eh. I don't know about that. Ah. We are going to put a Tiger Heart on her. Right now we're rocking Crush Charm. Is there anything better? I mean, that's just... That would probably is nicer. Of course, we have Lunar Seal and Super Gladiator headband on Josh. If we take those off him... I'm just kind of looking around what items everybody has. We're gonna take this Crimson Eye... Can you have two Crimson Eyes on one person? Because if so... Oh my. Oh my. Look at that art stat. 1881? What the fuck? Chloe is about to destroy everything. And so we got the Fisherman's em Emblem on Estelle. Estelle feels, still feels kind of weak. I'm hoping we can buy her a better weapon once we get into the next zone. But I, I do like the solar seal on her. It's pretty good. And arts. I don't think we're gonna go. Uh, we might actually rock these on her. Just plus four move is actually kind of nice. Okay. Ornament wise, uh, she's good. She's got scent, but Annalise has haze to counteract it, so that's fine. Just making sure we don't have anything else to put on. I don't think so. Protection. That's fine on her. 
So the only thing is, if I'm not using Joshua, I need to take his items off him. Excuse me, super glider headband and lunar. Um, maybe we just give the these boats to her again. Where's the lunar seal? There we go. Yeah. I think that's her best weapon, right? Make sure we can't buy a better one. Yeah, we good. Okay. I think we're pretty set up. Let's make sure everybody's slots are maxed out. Yep. And look, we still have plenty of Sabbath to work with. Alright. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. let to save. And... We have uh, Gisetta's support, because we always want items. I think... Let me make sure there's no doors we haven't done. I think we've done all of them, right? I think we did all those. It's done. It's done. I am, a. Uh... There's the one door that's like a tournament. I hope we can get another invitation soon to that. Did that one. Did that one. We did that one last night. And we've done all of these. Cool. Alright. Yeah, we're good to go. And we got... This... This might be my favorite party, too, that we've had access to in all three of the games. Rias, Estelle, Annalise, and Chloe? Oh my god. I almost want Tita in here, but... Annalise is just way too strong to pass up right now. And Chloe is superior to Tita. Alright. So I think we go to a local lodge. Then there's that platform to teleport to. We're actually progressing in main story tonight. This is great. Yeah, this is where we need to go. Whoa! I thought I was ready after you guys told me what happened, but seeing this place you trained at like this is weird. Seeing the place you trained at like this is weird. You got that right. <clears throat> I sure wouldn't have wanted to do any courses here if it looked like this. <laughs> Same here. So, this warp thingy here is going to take us to the next plane? That's right. The next should be the fifth. Presumably the first of the more advanced game boards the Lord Phantasma mentioned. Oh, we ramping up the difficulty from here on out, eh? Okay, okay. We're going to be in for a really tough ride, aren't we? But hey, we've come through plenty of those just fine. We can knock this one out too. I certainly hope so. Hmm, something wrong? Look at good old positive... It's great to have positive Estelle back. No, but I do have a question. Why do you? Why did you specifically put your name forward to accompany me? Huh? Is it really big of a deal? I can't think of any specific reason you could have to offer me to offer to support me. And yet, when making a request, your eyes were filled with the determination and resolve. So it wasn't something you did on a whim. You don't mind my inquiry, do you? No, it wasn't a whim, though. <clears throat> so you're right about that. It's just that I don't have some big special reason for doing it either. <laughs> Estelle just wants the help. She's so kind. Hmm. I guess I just want to give something back. What do you mean? Well, like Kevin. Well, like. Kevin did a lot for me back during all that trouble in the barrel. He bailed me out of trouble more times than I can count. He helped Joshua deal with what was burdening him too. Now he's in trouble, just like we were. So, it's this thing where I found myself wondering whether there was anything I could do to help. Coming and backing you up was the best way I could do that. Estelle. <laughs> now I see. I, I'm still not sure that I understand. I understand that you feel indebted to Kevin. But how's that helping me? How does helping me go towards repaying that? Isn't that obvious? You're super important to him, aren't you? No. What? 
Uh, I'm not implying you're going out or anything. <laughs> Just from all I've heard and s you've seen since getting here, seems like you basically view each other as family. I'm not wrong, right? No, you're right. Before all of this started, we hadn't met for almost five whole years. The only reason we met again at all was because of work. I'm not sure there's any bond between the two of us at all anymore. F yeah, I'm not buying that one. <laughs> Fucking Estelle. Well, what's so funny? The connections between people deepen over time to become bonds. And once such, bond once such bonds have formed, they can never be broken. However far apart these people may be, no matter where life may take them, those bonds will always exist in some way. Not my words, by the way. They're just something some old guy I know said to me a while back. <laughs> and I happen to agree with him. Aw, oh, there's fireworks going off and my cat's scared. Kevin was happy to entrust everything to you without a second thought, right? You were talking like you knew what he was thinking earlier, too. But how he was going to tell us about his stigma. That's proof enough that there's still a strong bond between you. Hmm. I wish I could be so confident. Still, I can understand why you wanted to come with me now. I appreciate it, too. Thank you, Snow. You're very welcome. I do have one more question, though. It's something of a personal one, however. Hmm? Like what? I'll answer it if I can. This is a good chance to get to know each other. Alright, forgive me if this sounds blunt, but... Do people often tell you that you're too soft for your own good? Aww. Estelle isn't soft. Yo, she'll beat that ass. What? <laughs> well, well, what are you laughing for? I think I have my answer. At least let me answer before making up your mind. Ah, screw it. Let's get going. Right behind you. Well, technically, we're there behind you, Rias. You're the leader right now. Late boy. I am. I was chilling today, doing other stuff. FC run had 10 losses, meaning 10 party members got KO'd. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty impressive, considering Nightmare. Journal... I don't know what that... Mm. Tracks party member deaths. Yeah, yeah, I noticed it did that. Where are we now? It seems to be another enclosed dimensional space. I see a door. Luminous Labyrinth. Ooh, a little dungeon with a big mob right there. I see that. Some teleporters even. Three of those were reverie squeezing people. Ooh. <laughs> That's rough. Like a giant labyrinth of marble in a rift between dimensions. Ooh, this OST. Or at least that's how it appears. Yeah, this will be a blast to go through. We're gonna need to put our backs into this one. Indeed. And quite immediately, too. Huh? Oh shit, already, eh? Here we go. What? Here comes company! We're rocking the cute girl party tonight. The fuck is that thing? Some weird ass spider crabs. These are dream spiders. They're foul beasts that devour people's dreams and replace them with nightmares. Well, this plane's off to an awesome start. Well, whatever. Let's kick some devil butt. I forgot to get my CP maxed up. Ah, everybody's pretty high in here. Alright, what are we fighting? Greedy Widow is what these little spider things are. 3200. Very agile dream devil that looks like a spider. His fangs contain the deadly poison. And then we have an incubus. Ooh. Excuse me. A dream devil that appears in women's dreams, steals energy and sometimes life. Weak the space and that's it. Fuck. Why are all these things always weak to space, and then, like, the only space spell there is is fucking dark matter that costs a billion PP?
Alright, well, I guess we'll. How much health did this bitch have? 5200. Not enough for him to live. Is everything gotta be so spread out? It's annoying. Yeah, come on. Alright, Annalise. Do work. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have EP cut on her. That's nice. I'd rather not use all of that, so. I want to see how hard Chloe hits, because right now I have two crimson eyes on Chloe. She's going to hit like a fucking truck. Alright, here it goes. Let's see. 36 9. Pretty good. Considering it wasn't weak to that. One shot, bitch. These things are... Put Chloe to sleep, you assholes. Oh, we got a petrify. Hell yeah. Asshole. Yeah, we pretty strong. Good to go. Good to go. Ooh. Lots of XP here. I thought we were over level. Let's go. Alright, let's see what these things drop after our cutscene's over. I think that was the last of them. Phew, I'm bushed. So, were those the kind of devils you were talking about back in the garden? More specifically, it's a subspecies of devils known as dream devils. They're said to specialize in attacking the mind, and I think we've confirmed that to be perfectly accurate. We're gonna need to put in more than our backs at this rate. How about we double check our equipment one last time before we head on? That certainly sounds wise. There's no such thing as being too cautious. What, they're trying to make me like have sleep resist stuff here? Fuck up. I ain't switching gear. Mm -mm. Alright, let's see what we got in the store. New weapons, yeah. Alright, let's go. Rius weapon. Estelle weapon. I don't want to lose arts, and I don't really care about her strength, so... I wish, uh, I wish Chloe could get a weapon that has arts on it. And, of course, that's not going to be better than what Annalise has, which is fine. We can't get a better defense item. It's well, ten. It's only fourteen more for. Um, huh. Eleven ninety-two versus four. Yeah, we should probably just get this for Rius and for Annalise. We have like shit tons of money, so. Rest, we don't really need to worry about. Let's check quartz. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Crow? I get on, the first word I hear is Annalise. Good. Good, he says. <laughs> it's a good start. Ooh. Now we're getting some, some real good shit. HP 5. I have to buy uh, four of those. That's fine. We got plenty. Attack fives. Yeah, we'll buy four of those. What all did you get done yesterday? We did. Uh, yesterday I got four doors done, right? We got the Josh and Estelle door, which was amazing. We got the Sherizard door done. Or she met Ina. That was awesome. We did the food door, which apparently was the, uh... What are those three guys from Ruan called? From the, like, the gang? The Ravens or something, right? That was a cool door. It was real enjoyable playing as them. That, I never would have guessed that. I like that one. And they became Junior Bracers? What the fuck? And then... I started the fishing door, but then off-stream I finished the fishing door. 
And that fishing door kind of fucking sucked. I'll be honest with you. Curly, Larry, and Mo. Yeah, those three. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the fuck their names are. Dean, Rocco, or something, and... I don't even remember the other one. Yeah. Silver Gem. Ooh, Max EP. I buy a Silver Gem. We'll get one. I wish we had the EP cut, Big Gem. How much fun did you have fishing? <laughs> Actually, I got... <clears throat> they don't matter. What doesn't matter? I can't remember. Oh, the, those three ravens, guys. It was still cool to see them, I guess, in the game. Fish and so fishing... I was, I was saying this earlier, but... I don't mind the fishing. In fact... Throughout all of the mini games, all of the fishing mini game, I never missed a single cast. Like I, I can do fishing perfectly fine. I only lost, and I lost two times: once in the first round and once in the third, the final round. And I only lost because RNG just fucked me, and it was. That's the only thing that tilted me about that, because I didn't miss a fish like ever. Just like oh, the other guy decided to get a fucking fish that was worth 500 points. When you're over here catching fish that give you 10, it's real fun. Hate at the door because of how ran- yeah, exactly. Yep, pissed me off so much. Yeah, the fishing- yeah, I don't know. That door could have been done better, is all I'm gonna say. It was enjoyable, I like fishing, I like the mini game. I like that- you can have some strategy to catch small fish first and then use those to catch the big ones. But when it's just RNG to whether you win or not, no matter what, it, yeah. It's not okay. Not okay. Alright, let's see, uh, we just got some new stuff, so. Got four water gems. Might as well put one of those on everyone. All the HP. Hell yeah. You like Shara and Ina more? Uh, like, do I like them more now? For sure. Um, seeing young Shara was really cool. I liked her. Back then. And getting backstory about Ina was... Unexpected, for sure, but... But welcome. Of course. Fuck, we actually don't have EP up on her. I wonder what we lose. Hold on. What's A crest? Art defense up? That doesn't sound that great. Uh, I was trying to see what I would lose. Nah, I think that's too good to drop. As far as there's still not a better cast, uh, chords. So I guess A812. I don't know how... How good cast is. I mean, I want speed. Speed's busted. Ah, I guess we won't worry about her right now. Oh yeah, I got new attack gems for everyone, too. That's important. Ruby gem. Ruby gem. Oh, I bought four, but I only needed three. Ruby gem. Alright. We're probably good now. I'm wondering if, uh, there's gonna be quartz even better than these. Cause, like, in in second chapter, Ruby Gem and Water Gem, all those, those were the best ones. Or, like, the highest tier. So does it go higher than tier 5? 
rank five, whatever. Okay, let's look at our map. I think we have a door to the right, so let's see what that door is gonna be. After we take out this incubus. I should probably put the luck quartz on someone for items. Uh, we can just like spam hurricane with her most of the time. She can just cast whatever and clap them. So much damage. Is it still actually doing 800? We're good to go. Seems low. God, I love this game. Just it gives you so much XP and Sepith all the time. It's wonderful. You're next. See if Estelle can do more than 800. 600? What's this? How much does Rias do? 1,000? And we've really gotten weaker. We were hitting shit for like 1,700 with her before. Oh, I'm sorry. Chloe still claps everything. Well, that takes care of that. Damn. What if I said this game is good? Call you a liar. Nah. This game is amazing. They like... In my opinion, they clearly learned from the previous two games. And just like... Improved upon it. I don't know. And th this one is amazing. I want to see what those mobs drop for us. Right, greedy Widow. Energy drink's almost gone. Nothing on those. Nothing on those. So neither of these have items that are worth it. Snow and rain? Isn't that the weapon we already have on Josh? I don't have a Hot Hotaru Kiri, though. I think Snow and Rain's the weapon I already have on Josh. Let's see what this door is. All may set foot within this door. To lay claim to its rewards, however, you must first overcome a trial. Should this fail to deter you, open the door and step aside. Eh? I don't know. Should I do this door? I don't know if this is one we want. Uh, let, let me save real quick, I guess, and then we'll check it out. I wasn't expecting to do much doors tonight, or many doors tonight. But guess we're doing one. Bug it. What did it say? Something about to claim rewards, you gotta overcome a trial. Anyone can step foot in it. I don't know. If it's like a combat thing, I'm, I might have wanted Joshua, honestly. But we'll see. Do, do. Overcome the trial before you. Then I shall grant to you a memory fragment and my blessing. Oh, so we get a little combat. Oh, this music's wild. Ooh. I love it. Guardian of a star door heals those who attack it, but when its HP starts to get low. Uh, so... These are called mischiefs. Evil spirit that causes nothing but trouble. And petrif- oh, great. Hard to hit and can say fucking hell. I'm sure this is gonna be great. What's uh, the most we can hit here? Probably this many. Alright, Rias. This one is short. Alright, sweet. It's a great one to do tonight, then. Oh yeah, the loudest S-craft in the fucking game. Here we go. Oh 
Might as well just spoil it. If it's the one I think it is, it's just background information on the... Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> tell me that's not a big, a big yeah. deal, so... Uh, Analyze. Got like strength up. Yeah, let's use that. Well, that'd be really cool to see though, because I really, I don't know a ton about that group. Right? Oh no, we missed all of them. God, I hope I changed Chloe's S craft to her. Yeah, I did. Sanctus Nova. I love that this ignores defense, it's so strong. God, Chloe's so awesome. Sanctus Nova. Couldn't get him all though. Oh shit, she's dead. Alright, this is not good. Not good at all. Area small. Alright, hit him, Annalise, please. Alright, we got one. Oh, we're dead as fuck. Uh, oh no. We actually are dead as fuck. Well, we might need some petrify resist on this one. You get a big variety on doors here if you haven't noticed. <laughs> yeah. It's so random. You can't. Even guess. I don't have anyone with res. Oh wait, I have Chloe. Oh, we're fucking dead, dude. Uh, maybe if I use a... <laughs> I farm so many of these, like, certain mobs, I have 99 Celestial Bombs. Okay. Ah, oh, I should have used her s crab before she died. That sucks. Holy fucking petrify with every attack. Yeah, we lost. Okay. God, I love this squad. Maximum cuteness it is. This <laughs> this is literally my favorite squad I've ever had in this game so far. <laughs> Smash a mo well, it's too late now. I appreciate the tips, but I got clapped. It's okay. Now it's easier, so no big deal. that they're weak, it'll be a joke. So it's fine. Uh, I guess we'll just kill this thing off because I don't know what's going to happen when it's low HP. Right, 12k, 12k. We could still easily lose here, unfortunately. Because Petrify is fucking broken. Yes, move closer to me, fools. If I lose again, I'm just... Fuck. Fuck. We, may <coughs> we might lose again. What do I have to heal them? Move sleep faint. Oh hell yeah! We're good to go. All right, Rius, just yeah, j just finish them, please. We're skipping it. She does not do a lot of damage. Huh? Chloe, you stay safe. <laughs> oh god, not again! It's, this is not good. Hold. 
Maybe Chloe can kill them with this. And Rias can... No, 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 no. She'll just run. It's fine. Uh, you run over here. You will not reach us. Um, to the corner. Can't hit them all. Do I have like, do I have that spell that's like death to everything? I don't. Can I be confused? We'll just use this again and... No, 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 we won't. No, we won't. We must not be hit. No, they're going for Chloe! Fuck. It's over. This is some bullshit. I can't believe I'm gonna lose again. God damn it, quit! <laughs> this is the most bull- All right, we're, we're going out of this door. Hold on. I'm just, I literally have to have Petrify resist. It's so dumb. <sighs> hold, hold, hold. Breeze Petrify. Breeze Petrify. Did you just expect to get clapped this hard at, in this door? <laughs> I don't think anyone expects to just get fucking your entire team petrified instantly. This is bullshit. No, it's fine. I mean, now that I have resist to petrify, it's literally going to be a joke, though. Which, it's good. I should actually play the game how I'm supposed to, rather than brute force everything. I was only losing because I was being stubborn. being stubborn. We have resistances, I think. Then I shall grant you a memory fragment and my blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want two hits. Four? It's always four, no matter what. Okay. And then we just use her. She can finish it. Alright. Now we win. So many mobs. Holy shit. Holy shit. When do I get to play the game, please? small. Let's do that. Ha! <laughs> idiots. Can't beat win now, can ya? Alright, still don't knock all of them out, please. Good miss. See, when I actually play the game appropriately, I can win. I wonder if you're just supposed to use arts on these.
divide. Oh no, they split. And finish it off, Chloe. Up. There we go. Easy peasy. Got some levels, hell yeah. Oh yeah, give me that Sephith. We love it. T Rawl and EP charge. You have overcome the trial. Thus, I shall grant you to you if memory fragment in my bulletin. Damn right. It only took me three tries, it's okay. The fuck is this? Ah, uh, so this is story time. Where we just read text. Here we go. Orbments are devices that use orbital energy contained within the septium to cause a variety of useful effects. It has only been a little over half a century since they were first invented. Okay. But even in such a short time, they have already revolutionized the world as we know it. From daily necessities such as lighting and heating, to tanks and other similar weapons used to defend our nations, ornaments are used in just about every faucet of our lives. In fact, it's now hard to imagine life without them. So much of what we take for granted in life now involves them in some way. And it is to proliferate and advance the development of these ornaments that we exist. We, the Epstein Foundation. Epstein, Epstein, whatever. Our, our foundation was first established in the year 1155 of the Septian calendar, the year after Professor Epstein's passing, and was created by his brilliant-minded disciples in order to honor his wishes. The foundation is based in his home, state of Lehman, where it remains in operation to this day. Um, that's where the uh, racer training place is, right? It was rather limited in size in the beginning, and its attempts to spread orbital technology was initially met with little success. <clears throat> Sensing that the professor's dream would never be realized at the rate they were going, three key researchers left Lehman to try and spread the seeds of orbital technology across the continent themselves. One of these was Professor G. Schmidt. So there's three- was Russell one of these three? And did they like split to Liberal, Calvert, and Arabonia? Let's see. The professor, who had gained a fine reputation of his own for his skill in the field of mechanical engineering, went around and visited corporations in various nations to persuade them of the benefits of ordnance. Bracer headquarters and Arteria both, apparently. Huh. Damn. Some like fairly significant things are in the state. That's weird. The second was Professor L. Hamilton. Mindful of the technological gap between regions, she long, she long believed it was rural and remote areas that needed ornament technology more than any other kind of that. As such, she enlisted the help of the Bracer Guild, which already had a close relationship with the Foundation, and formed a mission with the intent of promoting and spreading te technology where applicable. The professor herself also toured the regions with the aim of spreading public awareness and laying foundations for others to build on in the future. Yeah, and then here's Professor Russell. The third was Professor A. Russell, now known far and wide as the father of the Orbital Revolution. Professor Russell returned to his home nation of Libero and continued to work tirelessly to advance or ornament technology there. And within a year of returning, he had set up the Zeiss Engineering Factory, known as the Zeiss Central Factory, ZCF, and create the first ornament to be made outside Lemon State. Three years later, the reigning king of Libero, at the time, Edgar III, I'm about to sneeze, sorry, apologize. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Wait, there's always two, hold. Maybe not. Alright. Man, I feel like I got sneezed, but oh well. Edgar III visits the factory to inspect it, and he decides to donate a large amount of money to further its research. With His Majesty's endorsement, ornaments began to spread like wildfire throughout the kingdom, 
bringing such prosperity that the people of other nations were filled with envy. Up until then, most people didn't see Orbmits in a particularly positive light, but their success in Liberal changed those impressions virtually overnight. I see. One nation after another began to reach out to our foundation to share Orbmit technology, and both our foundation's financial and social standing became that much more secure. <laughs> In the eyes of the world, the Orbital Revolution was a sudden, far-reaching transformation. <clears throat> but it was only because of years of reaching out to people in diligent, largely unnoticed research, that it was able to happen at all. Well, that's cool. <laughs> okay, we got a little brochure here about the Epstein Foundation. The Foundation's activities center around the following three guiding principles. Monka Hun, he says. Foundation. <laughs> What's up, Nate? How you doing tonight? Alright, three guiding principles. One, carrying out fundamental research on orbits. Two, spreading orbital technology and informing the public of its benefits. Three, contributing to world peace through technology. So, okay. Now then, let's discuss each of these three guiding principles in more depth. Yeah, why not? Why not? One, carrying out fundamental research on orbits. The Foundation's most important mission, naturally, the improvement and development of orbital technology. Fundamental principles behind how orbits work need no improvement as such, but their architectures, their internal structures have been improved upon countless times in the past and will surely continue to be perfected by the curious mind as the years go on. <clears throat> huh. Orbman's architecture concerns the mechanical parts inside them, such as the cogs and screws. And there is still plenty of room for a change as this new technology develops. These improvements can reap great rewards, but the research necessary to make them known to be as lengthy as it is expensive. As a result, companies who prioritize profit over all else are less inclined to pursue them. That makes our foundation's research all the more important from a social perspective. Uh, number two, spreading orbital technology and informing the public of its benefits. I mean, it's also kind of dangerous, but not just beneficial. Two other important goals of the foundation are to spread orbital technology as widely as possible and to educate the public on the correct way to use it. While orbits have become part of the daily lives of most who live in advanced nations and populated urban areas, the reality in remote and mountainous regions is very different. To counter this, we have long worked to send missions of engineers and bracers to these regions to try and better the standard of living for these people, and we'll continue to do so. It's like white text with this background is like... This doesn't quite work. We also continue to work on other ways to spread awareness of orbital technology, such as working closely with the Septian Church to have it added to the curriculum of Sunday school classes. Number three, contributing to world peace through technology, or you know, wars, probably wars. It is to pursue this noble yet extremely difficult goal that the Foundation has had a close relationship with the Bracer Guild ever since its initial founding. The Guild was established as an international peacekeeping organization and can mediate on conflicts between nations from a neutral point of view, making it essential to the stability of our world as it stands. The Epstein Foundation continues to back them up fully in their cause, both with financial aid and using the fact that Lemon State is the only place where tactical ornaments are produced to provide them with equipment. Uh, just as well, this relationship also provides ideal feedback towards tweaking the quality of tactical orbits as they are used in combat too. Every machine and every invention goes through a long, grueling process behind the scenes before eventually reaching its finished, refined form, and tactical orbits are no exception. Then, in S1190, our foundation unveiled the Orbital Network Project, which will be implemented in partnership with ZCF. Said project aims to join all of Zemuria together with a single united communications network, but our hope is that it will do much more than that. Our hope is that it will help to realize a peaceful world through communication. Is this all just like propaganda? 
Sadly, Orbman's relationship with peace as a concept has become somewhat complicated. Are they, are they aiding in its realization, or are they doing the exact opposite? Professor Epstein expressed his hopes that their ability to rely, realize the limitless looping of energy would be able to bring lasting peace to the world. Instead, recent years have thoroughly betrayed those hopes, and the post-revolution world has been a chaotic one indeed. The conflict between Liberal and Erebonia, for one, made significant use of orbital weaponry, airships included. It seems beyond a doubt that orbital weaponry will continue to become more and more advanced, making war an even more tragic event than ever. In the face of all this, how should we go about trying to create a peaceful world? We believe the best way to do this is to rely on the power of communication and a means to do so with people of different nation nationalities and races. These people can more easily interact and more easily deepen their understanding of one another. Perhaps that will allow us to create the world we also dearly desire. In the end, one thing is for certain. Our challenges to try and realize Professor Epstein's ideals are only just beginning. Okay. That's kind of cool. That's basically like Epstein Foundation propaganda, though, I, I think, but... Still okay. Received Ingenuity 2 and 7K Mira. That was a short and sweet door. Alright. Let's go ahead and save them. Watch the Epstein Foundation actually be, like, really corrupt and evil. Probably would not surprise me. Damn, these things are... Tanky! We weak now. Except Chloe. Chloe will one-shot it, won't you? Ah, oh, yeah. Chloe's a god. Well, that takes care of that. The Epstein Foundation here. I don't need to fight that right now. Kill a mana lace. Hell yeah. All right. I guess those other things are just resistant to fizz. What if the Epstein Foundation is Ouroboros? <laughs> I mean... I don't think so. But maybe? If there's one thing I know about in JRPGs, Crow, it's that companies that try to act all good are generally not good. And, all, and the same goes for churches and religion. Usually the churches are super corrupt, so I'm expecting the Septian Church to also be corrupt at one point. But we will find out. Feather Brooch Plus. Yeah, we don't care about the numbered chests because they just... They're too out of order to care about. <laughs> Let's see what the Feather Brooch thing does. Feather Brooch Plus. Various stats up. How much? Damn, that's a 50 art increase? Pretty significant. It's like 50, all these stuff. One speed, one move. Eh. I'd rather just put the other Crimson Eye on her. Let's just do that real quick. I guess we can put our, uh... Fisherman's Emblem back on her. And... Lunar Seal on her. What did we have on her? Speed five. I uh, don't remember what. Uh, maybe we'll just keep this in case the stuff does petrify or some shit. And piss me off. Chess messages? <laughs> Poggers? The chess messages that are just the story are not worth doing because they're so out of order. What the fuck is this thing? It's a goddamn seahorse. It's a nightmare. A dream devil that looks like a horse. Destroys foe mi foe's minds and freezes them. Oh, great. Yeah, we're gonna want to kill that before it kills us. What the fuck? Great. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter if she's guarding. She's gonna be casting anyway. Perfect. <clears throat> well, that takes care of that. 117 for Annalise. Got a lighter. Someone used to keep his magazine stash in here. Dirty magazines? Um, yeah, this is the only way to go. Let's see where this takes us. 
We appreciate the chest messages in this house, even if it's multi-part story that everyone skips. <laughs> hey, we do appreciate them. It's just, I'll probably go read them on the wiki, since it's impossible to follow what's going on otherwise, through the game of the uh, chest messages. Are these... these are succubus? Damn, I thought succubus were supposed to be hot. These ain't... these aren't hot. They appear in men's dreams, steal energy, and sometimes life. Uh, I wonder what kind of statuses they're gonna fuck me with. I get what they were going for, but man was it... yeah, it is absolutely a ter terrible idea for sure. Finish the other one off with someone else. Damn, I, I don't feel like OP anymore. Rough life. We're still strong. My thanks to thee. All right, what's in this chest? Ugetsu Zanshin. Shield turns, dude. <laughs> Shield turns are fucking frustrating. You hear some funky music playing from within the chest, but you do not see any instruments. Unlock. Was that a... I mean, I'm sure it's not better. No. The weapon she has is so strong. Man, am I glad I no longer... Are they done with shield turns after, uh... Sky the Third? Because I kind of hope so. I mean, it's kind of cool that you can, like, manipulate the combat in such a way so that they don't affect you. But it's also annoying. Now, what are these? Poltergeist? Evil spirit that causes trouble and can... Fuck, they fucking petrify. Oh, boy. I mean, we're still gonna try to smack them. That was nice. Maybe she can use ascension here. Ah, oh, great, Estelle. Good 29 damage. Memory serves right? They didn't use them at, at all after? Okay. Then again, it's not like I played Reverie or Gotcha. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, if they're done with that at least until Reverie, then I'm fine. Knight armor? That's new. It's probably just high defense. It is high defense, but lowers your speed and move. You. Nah, I'm not trying to use that right now. I could have. I thought I bought something for her. Maybe it was Rias that. Who is Arts? I just use that on her. Those. Chloe needs that stuff for the arts. Are these, that's just better for her. Alright, we're good. <clears throat> bum, bum. What do we got? A lot of teleport spots <clears throat> coming up. Chest down here. 200 Sepith. Nice. There was one... Did they use the wrong there? There. Whatever. There was once an heir to a kingdom who allowed everyone a piece of meat. A piece of meat from a boar. What is this? What is this chest message? From a boar and up of wine. Provided, of course. Okay, so they're purposely doing this, obviously. They found the... The corp... <laughs> Wait, to his secret cellar underground, finding it was no mean feat. Oh my god. Yeah, after I saw the second word that was intentionally messed up, I was like, ah, oh, they're doing this on purpose. They're not actually stupid. I was doubting them. Saw homoph homophones? Yeah. You had the same re reaction? It just is super off caught me off guard because like I've they've had like no grammatical mistakes in this game. 
Or like, not many, anyway. Good old homophones. Don't freeze me, asshole! Oh yeah, get that crit, Analyze. Uh. I'm not gonna lie, it's still, it's still kind of weak right now, you know? Did I, I didn't equip her new weapon, did I? Hold on. I believe those mistakes are like single digits if they do exist. Yeah, for sure. I might have seen one, but if I did, I don't even remember it. I think I forgot the equip new weapons I got for- I did. What a fucking fool! Oh my god! That was 300 more strength! Oh my god. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Oh my god. So we have a chest this way. Let's go get that. Uh, I don't know if that's the gun or cannon, but it's ranged weapon. Well, that explains the 29. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Cry into my chest. Don't worry, I just cried all the way on to, over to the chest, man. Uh, I, like, bought these new weapons that are double the amount of strength and didn't even equip them. So that's for this. Where's this go? Oh, there's another f level. Okay. Whoa! Alright, got the preemptive. What the fuck is this? Arc Devil. Or Arch Devil. Dream Devil that slowly corrupts people. Its attacks are deadly, but beating it. <laughs> Beating it may pay off. I almost said beating it off may pay or something. That would have been the bad Freudian slip or whatever. Um, 17k? That's annoying. Maybe we'll buff our strength. Rius's turn. What can she do that's useful? Smack the fucking thing. Hurricane. Oh yeah, we hit. Oh, there's another one hiding behind it. I didn't even see that bitch. He's weak to space, right? Yeah. Dark matter should clap it pretty good. Sixty nine. Ooh, a crit. Hell yeah. Uh, might as well just attack it and then use our S-Craft. The cute girl squad is too strong. What's up, cat? I win. Oh yeah! Oh yeah. Lots of XP. Hell oh, yeah. Prius 117. <clears throat> or if those things drop any good items, let's take a look. Uh, Archdevil Ninja Garb Reflective Robe. <laughs> a kitty suit. Sounds interesting. Ninja Tabby, Shaman Sandals, Kitty Slippers. Ni Damn, they drop a lot of stuff. I might come back here to the farm a little bit. We see anything else new? So those drop some of the same stuff. You get a lot of stuff here. Might be a good place to farm at some point. Wait, is this a new crystal or a sealed thing? Crystal thing? Okay. Wasn't expecting this already. I mean, I should have because we literally get them all the time. Ceiling stone? Another stone. Wow, that thing sure is pretty. Is this some kind of septium? I literally have no idea who this could be, like... We have basically every character that was playable in the previous games, except for Kurt. Maybe it's fucking Kurt, which would be super underwhelming to be one of the last two people. But... I guess we'll see. No, it's what's known as a ceiling stone. 
constant re- It's me, Smilers. <laughs> yeah, they put you in this game. Yeah, you definitely sitting on the bench then. <laughs> you were inside one just like this when we found you. <laughs> Who? I- I was? Are we gonna find someone in this one too? Without a doubt. You wouldn't happen to have any inkling as to who it could be, would you? Let me think. It would be wonderful if it were your dad without str Yo, what if it was Cassius? They'll never give us Cassius, though. He's too broken. I don't even- like, what's Cassius even doing in right now? Being a useless fucking military guy. But that may be a little too much to hope for. I agree, Chloe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it could be Kurt. That's what I'm thinking, Annalise. It's gonna be fucking Kurt, and he's gonna be sitting on the bench the whole game. It might just be. I don't see any reasons why it wouldn't. Sounds as though there are a number of possibilities. The fastest way to find out which one rings true is to take this back to the garden. Then let's go. Nah, we can't go back yet. We gotta explore more. Man, if it's Kurt, who the fuck wants Kurt? I think that's literally- there's two more people left if it just fills out the rows. And, and I was guessing one would be Kurt. I don't know who the fuck another one would be. It's like Karna or something. Kurt and Karna. And then Grant just gets left out because he's a shitter. I really don't want any more B-Squad people though. Let's fight. Fuck it. Oh yay, guard! Ooh. So fun. <laughs> Alright, what do you hit for now, Spell? Oh, 19 cent. That's so much better. I love it. Oh, I didn't even see this bitch. It's a treasure chest. <laughs> well, that takes care of that. As a character? <laughs> or literally, it's not even a character. It's just, you get a chest. We gotcha! Oh. So we got two teleport things. I assume up there is the... Ah, we're gonna have to unlock the crystal or sealed thingy before we do anything. That's fine. Uh, do we get anything new here? Not that matters. What about quartz? We already had topaz, petroleum, and those water gem. We had wind already. We did not get anything new. Okay. All right, we're gonna check out. Mm. Let's go get our person since we have the teleport now. Oh, this is only the midpoint. Oh, cool. All right, back to base area. I'm leaning towards this being fucking Kurt, though, and being sad. Because I said I would use every new person I get. So that means we're gonna have to swap out Annalise or Chloe for a shitter. Alright. Unleash the ceiling stone. Please don't be a shitter, Kurt. Ugh. Oh. Back is still sore from lifting. Oh my gosh. Let's see who it is. Oh, yeah, of course. It opened this up. We knew that was gonna happen. Who we got? Give us green hair boy. <clears throat> They're surprised? What? That looks like... It, it couldn't be. Oh, did we get someone Pog? Could it? You've got to be kidding me. They're all shocked and Agus just like... Ri oh, what? Richard? Wait, wait, wait. It's a broken ass character? What the fuck? Yeah, this is the most random shit. 
What? Richard's playable? <laughs> what is it? Constant re- What's his face? Oh my god. <laughs> he- This man was literally like the main bad guy in the first game and now he's playable? What the fuck? Uh, Mueller was- Mueller was in the last game, in SC. You could play him and Julia during the, like, last part of it, right? And you could put them in the party. But Richard was never play- What the fuck? This open- this- This means the next character even could be anyone at this point. Well, I guess Richard did have a battle sprite, though, so that make- it makes sense. Maybe the last person is like fucking Amalthea, whatever her name is, or some shit. Yo, this is sick. I fuck- I love Richard, too. I was talking the other day how I think he's a great character. He just was- went about things the wrong way at first. Damn. Damn. This is sick as fuck. Alright, well, I, I mean, obviously I'm using him, but do we get rid of Annalise or Chloe? That's the question. Ugh, a stun grenade. <laughs> Who goes there? Speak your name! You ready to learn more about Richard? I mean, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I fucking love Richard. He's This is his fucking redemption arc, man. Get rid of neither? Keep this squad? But I gotta use Richard, unless I just can't. Maybe I can't. We'll see. What? <laughs> I sure didn't see this coming. I presume you're all familiar with this man. Cute girls, though. But, Crow, I gotta use everyone. When I get them, you know? All I can tell by the uniform is that he's from the Royal Army. Yes, we certainly are. I, I, I'm not sure what is going on here. Estelle? Joshua? familiar he did the coup in our country <laughs> nah man but the, you know the queen the queen just fucking pardons anyone no matter what they did oh you assassinated my husband you're probably pardoned it's fine <laughs> colonel richard fucking tries to overthrow the entire government and palace it's fine he's pardoned he helped us again a little later so that's fine And is that you, your highness? Yes, it is. It's good to see you again, Richard. I feel the same. The pleasure is all mine, your highness. I'm delighted to see you well and in good health. I mean, I can I can blame the trail series for that. <laughs> Would you choose Ricky over Melia just so you use everyone? Fuck. You, you bring up a good argument, Crow. But Richard, I actually like him, and he's... I've never gotten to use him before, man. This is gonna be sick. Well, you know, and just just to spite you, Crow, you know who's gonna get benched? I think you can guess. <laughs> There's no need to stare at the floor when you're talking to me, you know. How have you been? See, but Richard's broken, says Nate. <clears throat> The thanks to Her Majesty's extraordinary kindness, I've been doing very well. I hope you'll forgive me for asking. I'm afraid I don't quite understand the situation I found myself in. Would it be any trouble to request a brief explanation of where we stand? It would probably be easier if I handled that. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Rhea Sargent, a squire affiliated with the Grossritter. The Grossritter? I see. Sounds as though the situation is even more abnormal than I thought. Zack finds Richard cuter than Annalise confirmed? <laughs> nah, Crow. That is not true. Annalise is very cute. And she's eating ice cream in her portrait, which is just... <laughs> it's just so cute. It's amazing. But we like power around here. And Richard is going to be a strong boy. <clears throat> I suppose I should introduce myself as well. My name is Alan Richard. I was once a colonel in the Royal Army's Intelligence Division, as well as a traitor who attempted to instigate a coup d'etat. 
At present, however, I run the research agency R&A Research. Richard's a power bottom confirmed. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, I think I have a solid grasp now. I wish I knew what else to say. What do you mean? As in, like, you're having trouble believing all of what we just told you? Well, part of me feels that way, yes. But that's not really it. The greatest doubt in my mind is simply, why me? Huh? Yeah, we're all kind of wondering that too, Richard. Where the fuck? You literally came out of nowhere with this one. What do you think, Cassius is bottoming in that relationship? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Cassius definitely in, in control there, man. What about, uh... What about Sid? Where's he at in this? He's just in the corner, watching. <laughs> <clears throat> I look at everyone here and I see comrades who know how to fight alongside one another to turn even the darkest of odds in their favor. That was a long sentence. Whether this turn of events was the will of the goddess or someone else, I can't rightly say. But from where I'm standing, you've already formed the perfect team for overcoming the obstacles before you. He's trying to fix his rocket to go to space. I appreciate the FF reference there. You know. <laughs> Sid's banging a Malathia in secret. Uh-oh. Bro, there's, there's no way a Malathia would touch anyone besides Richard. You seen how fucking obsessed she is? No way. <clears throat> uh, I guess so. I sure as hell don't want to work with her, though. I don't want her stupid rubbing off on me. No, yeah, we'll rub off on you, Jose, don't you worry. Oh, you're really... Are, uh, God damn. Oh, you're gonna feel really stupid after I thwack your brains to mush. Not now, you two. <clears throat> if I may. Find it hard to understand how I, of all people, came to be here. Far from working together well with all of you, I'm a criminal who threatened both your lives and safety of the nation, which would thrive. I can't help but feel my being here is a mistake of some kind. <clears throat> Still, you have helped us before, though. Like during the attack on Gransel, remember? You came to everyone's aid then. Y yeah. Damn, we haven't heard from Tita in a minute. And that could have gone really bad if you, you and your men hadn't showed up to help when you did. <laughs> They're right. Then there was the fact that you assumed responsibility for defending the city while all of us escorted Chloe to Aiken Gate. Yeah, you might have done some bad stuff in the past, but you're underselling yourself by saying you've never helped us before. <clears throat> yes, that may be. My good man, it's not as though you're the only one here who's performed terrible deeds. Not gonna lie, I've never seen someone call her a mouthy instead of K-Not. K-Not? K- it's because I don't know how to say your first name. She doesn't deserve to be called by her first name. <laughs> I only know her as a Malthia. Malthia. Kanon or whatever is too annoying to say. <clears throat> to use the occasion Joshua mentioned, while you violently defended Gransel, I was at Haken Gate threatening Liberal's safety. And yet here I am, fighting alongside my friends without a care in the world. Same as canon? Alright. Just that the ending is different. That doesn't fucking help me. I'm too dumb to understand what you're saying. La languages are too hard. Speaking and reading, too difficult. I don't want to do it anymore. And the best thing to do here is my personal opinion. Is relax in my personal opinion. I'm not sure if boasting about not having a care in the world is something you should be doing. I have different perspective on those events, your highness. You were only threatening Libero on the surface. You had no intention of actually doing anything. On the contrary, you were trying to protect it. It's pronounced Burka Perfect. The same can't be said for me. My conspiracy was of my own doing. See, the fact that you have to tell me how it's pronounced, that's why we just say Amalthea. As a Mexican, I struggle to see how Kanon is harder than Amalthea. It's because... I don't know. Hell, even sometimes when you, it's stuff spelled a way you, you think it should be pronounced one way, it's pronounced a different way in English, so... 
I can speak two languages and sort of speak another two. Listen. Maybe that's... I don't know. Fuck, I don't know, Nage. You're just better than me, okay? Let's leave it at that. <laughs> the same can't be said for my cons For me. My conspiracy was my own doing. Okay, but what about me? We were being used by you guys, yeah, but that doesn't change the fact that we were a bunch of sky bandits who even hijacked an airship. But Her Majesty was gracious enough to give us another chance at life. And we're trying to make the most of it running our new company. Anyways, back to Richard and his massive damage. I don't think our positions are all that different, honestly. Well, you might have done things you regret, but it's not the past that determines who you are. It's what you choose to do now. Exactly. It'd be a huge help if we had someone as baller as you fighting for it with us. <laughs> someone as baller as him. So, please? We can really use your help. Yeah, and at least you're asking, but that he's gonna replace you. Are you sure, Annalise? Huh? You guys know each other? How did that happen? <laughs> Nate just basically saying dick hits hard. <laughs> I see. Oh, <laughs> I went to visit your dad for something a while back, so that's when we met. Oh yeah, they fought, didn't they? In that flashback memory thing. Huh? Really? After all we've heard, I see no reason to refuse your company. If anything, we're eager to welcome you to our group with open arms, myself included. You could consider an aid given to the Gross Raider if that would make you less adverse to the idea. What do you say? Hmm. <laughs> Very well, you have my support. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm glad you're with us. Thank you. <laughs> I only hope I meet your expectations. Incidentally, there is one thing I would like to confirm first. What would that be? You said that you believe everyone to have been surrounded by the white light and sent here at the roughly the same time. When that happened, were you all wearing the same clothes that you are now? Does that have anything to do with it? What kind of question is that? Now that you mention it, how come you're wearing your military uniform? I was under the impression that you left the armed forces. That's right! Hmm, now the question makes sense. You were wearing something different when you were sent here, weren't you? I was. Currently, I work out of an office in Ruan City, and since the beginning of work there, I have never once willingly worn my old uniform. When I was surrounded by that light, I was wearing a shirt and a pair of slacks as I normally do. Yeah, he was in some business casual. And yet somehow I find myself here in uniform. That's odd. It's not something that happened to anyone else, either. Oh, I have a thought. Perhaps the Lord of Phantasma decided the Colonel just wasn't sexy enough <laughs> in anything else and prepared that strapping uniform for him after bringing him here. Damn it, Olivier! Dude, Olivier's thirsting after every single character. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. So, in addition to the other billion ways they're a weird freak, they've got military uniform fetish too. God, I love Olivier. Yeah, same here. I couldn't blame him if they did, though. Same. <laughs> Dude, all the girls... Wait, all the girls are loving fucking Richard? Yo. <laughs> um... I swear. Girls these days. <laughs> Tia's lost. She's like, I'm just a little girl still. I don't know. <laughs> still, there's clearly ha gotta be something to it. I get the feeling we're on the verge of a major breakthrough in working out how we ended up here. Coincidence that he looks like Sanji? <laughs> it's not. So do I. As well as what this place really is to begin with. Interesting. In that case, let's put the matter aside for now. I love that dialogues with, with Tita Clues. Yeah, that was amazing. <clears throat> Now that that's settled, then, we should start getting ready to resume our investigation. Releasing Richard should hopefully have opened up a new path for us to follow. Okay. Damn, I can't believe I'm about to sit... Like, honestly, if if I had the choice, I would probably sit Rias. But I can't. I wish Estelle was a little stronger, too, but... Alright. Which one do I sit? Annalise or Chloe? Hmm. 
Yo, he came in at 117? Oh my god. Adequate performance. Amazingly quick with his sword, excellent arts proficient. Wait, he's an arts person? Surely not, right? Actually, he might be too weak without a weapon. We'll have to look. What ornaments do they give him? Attack 4, action 4. Give him mind, faith. Huh. Uh, slot level 9. Huh, I don't know if I'm gonna actually use him. Getsu Zanshin. Wait, are these different? Does anyone else share weapons that he uses? Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Can he equip this weapon? No, dang it. Damn it. That would have been sick, though. Wait, so... 1950 versus Annalise's 22... Granted, she has Tiger Heart. Cool. How much does Tiger Heart get? Oh. And she's still stronger. But. We can actually give him this stands. I guess not those. I just want to use Richard for a little bit. I might actually bring back Annalise pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. We'll just use that. Uh, let's get our tactics. I want to put Chloe in the back here, actually. Yeah, this setup's fine. Think you'll get more characters, or will Richard be the last? So I'm. A, I only am guess. This is a complete guess, but when I press start, I oh wait. I think this fills up. So so my guess is that this screen fills up every slot. So that would mean, oh, and one of them is Kevin. He's just not an option right now. So I think there's exactly one more character, which. You know, based off the interface, I think that's gonna be correct. Unless it scrolls, or it doesn't fill up. But, current guess, one more character. Who it's gonna be? I have no fucking clue. I'm still guessing Kurt, but... <laughs> Chest? <laughs> maybe. Or maybe there's some secret character that you can only get by, like, doing certain things and I'm just not gonna get them? I don't know. We'll see. Who would it be? Like I said, I'm, I'm guessing Kurt. But that... Kurt as the last character would be so fucking underwhelming. It better be someone amazing and not and not Kurt. Understood. How do you feel that it actually is Gilbert? <laughs> I'd be pretty sad, but... If it actually was Gilbert, I'd, I would accept it. Cause he's been in the whole fucking game, dude. Aw <laughs> oh, man, I need to talk to everyone and uh check for books actually. Uh did I equip I didn't equip this fucker with everything he needs yet. Hold on. Oh wait, I have an extra ruby gem. Okay. We might need haze. Since Chloe has a. Uh, Put this here. Oh, I have to increase the slots. Fuck. Ah, uh, slots. Uh, Richard. Fuck it. There we go. It's a good thing we farmed plenty. Uh, I need another HP one. I know I don't. I'll just take it off someone else. Sorry, I need to do this. Ruby. Action 4 is fine. I don't think I'm gonna be using... 
this. So let's go ahead and put Haze here. And maybe like H HP 4 is fine. And we can have anything. I should give him a status effect. We can make him crit. I mean, he's not set up too well, but it'll have to do. This will have to do. He better be strong. I'll be sad if he's like a straight downgrade from Analyze. Who do you think the least likely battle sprite character is? Oh, so you're saying someone that I've seen a battle sprite of, but yet they would be least likely. I guess that is kind of what are all the options are, right? It's got to be someone that I've seen a battle sprite of. Huh. Least likely? I mean, fuck. <laughs> Care? I mean, someone who's already dead is obviously least likely, so... Like, Luve. What if Luve came back to life? He actually didn't die, and he was the final character? Yo, that'd be so hype. But I think he's dead dead. Considering, you know, the scene he got. So we're talking least likely. The dead man is probably the least likely character we're gonna get. <laughs> but that would be the most hype one. <sighs> Richard's circumstances are notably different from the rest of us who ended up here. There's gotta be some kind of underlying reason why that was the case. It can't just be random. We can work that out, and I have the feeling we'll be able to significantly closer to knowing just how this world works. It's just a case of connecting the dots. Not sure, why is Richard in his military uniform? Other than whoever created this world never saw Richard not in his military thing, and is created based off of that. D don't you dare take one step closer to Joshua wearing that skimpy as hell outfit. Because you were well blessed with bombastic boobs doesn't mean you gotta go showing them off 24-7. <laughs> what? Yo, poor Shara, she's just trying to look good. He seems to be doing fine now. Fortunately for us, he's one tough cookie. So he should end up she should be up and about up and about in no time. Damn, that was a hard sentence, sorry. I really don't know who else to expect, like I'm trying to think other characters we've seen battle sprites of. That would also be like liberal people. I mean, Sid? Have we seen a Sid battle sprite? I don't think so. Cassius? I don't think we've even seen his. Is that least likely though? You know anime bullshit can bring people back or do other... You, I mean, you got a good point. That would be a total anime move. I guess it's not the least likely, but I'm just kind of hoping that it would be, because <laughs> I love Lu Luve. Um, I mean, un I don't know. Imagine getting Cassius. I think it'd be a hype way to finish off. Considering it's the last character, it'd be pretty hype if it actually was Cassius, and we actually got to use him because he's OP as fuck. But the game. That's why we can't have him. Because he is far too strong compared to everyone else. And it's still been a major flaw in this game, in the story in my opinion. The fact that Cassius is always looming over us, ready to save the day. But, you know. Alright, both General Morgan and Brigadier General Bright did their best to stop Richard from leaving the army. When he made his decision to do so, no one denies that he made a mistake. But he was an exceptionally skilled soldier, and the military is worse off without him. I've heard rumors that General Brigadier Bright hasn't given up on bringing him back into the ranks yet, even. Sounds just like something he would do. You know, maybe it's Philip. <laughs> maybe Philip got brought in. That'd be unlikely. This old dude that kind of knows how to fight. Yeah, he's never been one for giving people a break. So our latest allies, the former Royal Army officer, Colonel Richard, is it? 
I've heard many great things about his skill in battle and espionage, as well as his intellect. <laughs> he doesn't sound like the kind of man I would want as an enemy. I guess, like, other villains could be options as well that we fought. Amalthea. Or, sorry, Kanon, Kanon, whatever. Um, other Oros Boros people, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely not Weissman. You gotta fucking turn to salt. I still think it's gonna be Kurt, and I'm gonna be pissed off that it's fucking Kurt. <sighs> Alright, let's save, and let's go finish off this dungeon, then. Okay, fifth plane. Damn, we're getting far in this game. Like, we're definitely, like, past halfway, right? You get all of Ouroboros as a single playable character? Yeah, that'd be... <laughs> oh, wait. Like, you can just swap them or something? <laughs> That'd be funny. Or like, I don't even know what you, it would be like, each craft is a different character. That'd be funny, that'd be cool. All right, let's fuck up this incubus. All right, Richard, what do you got, bro? Attacks with a flurry, slashes before passing through the foe. Ah, oh, wrong button. He's got an area craft, wants some more deadly wheel. Oh yeah, I saw him do this in the fight against him. They're all just occupying one tile. <laughs> Yo, that'd be sweet. They all attack as How busted would that be? Sword for a deadly attack. I just want to see his attack. Let's do this expensive one for him. Wait, Afterglow Smasher? And she's blade so fast enemies won't even notice? It's a single target? Okay. Right, let's check out the expensive one first. It hits them both, so. True Luminous Wheel. Pretty good damage. I like it. Chloe with the level up. Juicy boners. Mirage Ring. Your secrets are safe with me. What's Mirage Ring again? There it is. Prevents Petrify, so Garbo. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know who it, it, with it with Richard being introduced as one of the characters, like it could literally be anyone, so it makes it hard to speculate now. True Luminous Ogre Slash. 3718. Uh, Estelle. We just have you hurricane all the time. Chloe gets two turns. I guess I got used up with the cast. Interesting. Alright, how much are our normal attacks? He's strong AF. He's a good replacement for Annalise. I like it. I think her sword makes her slightly better, but it's fine. Long Barrel 3? Give you 1k mirror if you give back what you took. Nani? P. Bob? I haven't seen you playing any Rise yet, man. What the heck? I'm just kidding. You play what you want, bro. But how's it going, Daryl? How you doing, man? Oh, this place looks very different. Big ass circle. Um, okay. Taking this. Chilling, man. We'll play some in a bit here. Just doing one more key. One more thing. Alright, we got a... Uh... I mean, this is area, right? Let's go, Richard. Fuck him up. Oh my god, he's so strong. I love it. And 
but still always just spam hurting. You mo gui gui by jeets out. <laughs> yep. I remember that show. God, it's been so long though. Well, that takes care of that. Takes care of that. Smelling salts. Gummy eyeball. Also, I don't think getting Richard helped us to open any more doors. I think we've done every door we've been to, right? Preemptive. Smack Richard. Yeah. Oh no. And hit him with the aqua bleed dude. Well, that takes care Chloe, of that. my best character. Let me get some seven. Nice. Start a new game. Easy, normal, hard, nightmare, other nightmare. Wrong button. Alright, this is where the other chest is. It's a seahorse! Kill that. Good, good. Petrify. Oh, we did. Oh, we can't. Oh, don't want to use that. That would fucking suck. I had a bolt to. Nicely done. Do 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 do. Crest charm. We already got like eight of those. And the message that's out of order, so we don't care. Uh, did we come from the northwest one? I hope so. Let's find out. Yes, okay. Fights everything. Yeah, Richard's fucking sick. He's got like a Uchi Katana. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Which way? We can go south or east takes us to an. I imagine south is since it's a shorter path. It'll be a dead end. Let's see. Let us see. Nope, that looks like the correct way to go. I think. This has to be the crowd. We'll come here after. Let's go the other way first. Shit. Uh, attack. Uh, attack. I always go to craft instead of art for some reason, because I'm dumb. Made uh. a bitch. Hey. Reasling chain three. You know. I haven't used a single chain attack this entire game, nor will I. It's found a celestial bomb in, I don't know, an item chest. Inventory full, so gave up celestial bomb. Wait, what the fuck? I think my game's bugged. Well, that's dumb. Well, let's kill this bitch. I guess I need to sell some of my Celestial Bombs since I have 99. All right. Oh, there are two of those little bastards back there. Um... You know, let's just... Let's actually just finish this thing's life. Get ready for the loudest noise in the world. Prepare your ears. God damn. Chloe's so strong. She's just getting stronger. Lily Necklace Plus. Oh, and another one of those. 
Just want to see what the Lily Necklace Plus does. 50 strength, bunch of art defense, minus agility, prevents confuse. Um, would that be better? We do get more strength. Why not? Alright, let's go see where this uh, teleport takes us. 4k hits. Oh my god. We are so strong. Oh, she doesn't have enough yet. That's okay. I always go to crap on accident. It's crazy. But, but we haven't really got any good item drops from things. <clears throat> this also leads to... So now I'm wondering if this is actually the right way. Fuck. And the other way was the dead end. Uh, can we hit both of these? We can't. Oh, they're gonna move, though. And they're gonna fucking petrify someone, I know it. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I petrified them. Oh my god, that hit for 7200. Get viewers, followers, and primes on yourfollows.com. Oh my god. I need a... I wish I had a mod, because I need a band that person. Hold on. Hold on. Oh shit, I could be famous? Oh man. You're right. I really should go there. 29. Slash ban. Rip that guy. Get him. Kill him. <laughs> we got him. Mr. President, we got him. Found destiny card. I get one of those a week, basically. Which is not too bad. Not the destiny card, the the bot trying to spam me with the website. Can you tell this treasure was outsourced? What's a destiny card? He died for his sins. Yeah, he was he was eliminated. Prevents death blow, the final trump card, and trust your fate to this. Why the fuck would... What's the point of this? Because skull pendants already exist. Prevents... Preve what's the point? They literally have two items that do the exact same thing? This makes sense to me. Ooh, there's an incubus behind. Oh, wait, that's a succubus. Actually, I don't fucking know what it is. Succubus, okay. Uh, let's see Richard's S craft. Haven't seen it yet. Afterglow Smasher. This thing card lets you open Star Door 4. Oh, actually? Wait. Ooh, 10k, that's a big hit. Ah, oh, fuck. Sundor. Sundor, he says. No, I don't know what the fuck's the right thing. Uh, she'll kill that. 11k crit, my god. Petrify. Damn it. Alright. I don't think I've seen Sundor for, but I guess we'll find out. Damn, we get good XP in this place. I'm gonna farm this all night after I'm done. Oh, we got a new weapon for Agate and Mueller. Nice. Alright. I too can roll my face on my keyboard. Um, one shot. Damn it. Oh no, see, this is when defend fucks me. Right. Now she's not gonna get to go. Oh, we killed her. Inadequate. Chloe learned stern three. 
did we get? Moonglasses Plus. Treasure Chest was supposed to have a witty saying, but we drew a blah blanc. <laughs> a blank, blah blank. That one doesn't really work if you pronounce the name correctly. Uh, Moonglasses, what do you do? Arts plus 50, our defense plus 400. Oh, those are pretty good. I mean, it doesn't beat double Crimson Eye no matter what, so. Uh, I'm gonna save because. I imagine this might go to the end. Oh, this is a dead end? Not sure. Is there a bastard? There's always one behind it. It does not get hit very hard. Doors! I like me some doors. Ooh, we get two attack. Oh, fuck, this thing's tanky, boy. Alright, Chloe, fuck him up. 7k. Not quite enough. Come on, Estelle, get the petrified. not kill it. We did not kill it. Fuck, it doesn't matter who I go on. Oh god! It hurts. We're good to go. Another level. Arc Fencer 2. Nice. Damn, I got max uh, space 7. Well, let's go grab this chest. And heal... Richard, real quick. Oh, wrong person. There we go. So I'll say horse. And that's it. <laughs> Dead as fuck. My mom. Give us good loot. That was easy. Nope. That was easy. Found Strago Zero. Or Strago, whatever. Have you seen those chests from Erebonia? They're the strong, silent type. I wonder if these are good shoes for Estelle. You get a lot of movement. Or, well, one more than I have. The original Stragus. Revived in limited quantities. 1224 to what? Yeah, sure, who cares? It's like so minor of a change. I don't even... Oh my god, wait, what? We got another character already? Holy shit. Wait, so... This is possibly our last one if it just fills up all the slots, right? Holy fuck. What? What is that? Huh? Take your final guess. No. Nah. Wait, is this a, this is like spoiling it for me, right? It has to be. That's not just there for no reason. <laughs> well, Crow, I think it spoiled my guess. I was gonna guess fucking Kirk, or even I think I thought your Gilbert was a a possibility. But it looks it's it's actually gonna be Ren. What the fuck? No spoilers, but <laughs> too late then. It's Potter Modder. Are you hyped for your two party members? I mean, we we don't know for sure it's Ren, but this almost like has to be right. Yo, this is crazy. I was gonna have you guess before it turned. Ah, my bad, Crow. Potter Modder. Make sure you use Ogre Slash. We'll see. Unbelievable. This is the archaism you appeared in Grantsel, yes? It looks to me to be a large archaism used by Ouroboros. Your reactions say there's more to it than that, however. <clears throat> Seven times in a row? Oh, with the ones I have on Joshua, like the Supreme Headband and the, I think it's Lunar Seal. We'll see. 
I don't know how long I'm gonna use Richard. I mean, I get that he's broken, and that's awesome, but I don't know who my dream team is going consi to consist of. You could say that, yeah. Let's get that stone. So this is, I mean, it's obviously Ren, which is random as fuck, but hype as fuck. Found ceiling stone. So Crow, this must be, I mean, obviously Ren was cool in the other games, but this must be the reason you really think she's the best Ouroboros member, yeah? You're back for an extra scene. We will see. I will definitely do that. Assuming it's her, which, I mean, you bas we're basically confirmed at this point. <laughs> After all this time, we finally found you. You must have spent a long while looking for the person inside. Then we shouldn't keep you waiting any longer. Let's hurry back to the garden and release them right away. Find out? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Rius. I mean, it's, ob it it's obviously Ren. It wouldn't make sense otherwise. I already got that item. Alright, so... I have one more direction I want to go real quick. Before we unlock this character. So bear with me, it's going to take a second to get back. Ren's in danger. Feel the power of the sun, Ren. If this is... So, I don't know how this is going to play out. Like, she has never been a good guy. So she's just going to randomly help us? Oh, and you said Ogre... Luminous Ogre Slash? Wait, isn't that only one... It's only a single? Alright. Any new doors? I don't think we've gotten any yet. You saw, you were here for the one we did, right? It was just about the uh, Epstein Foundation or whatever. What do you mean she was good up until she wasn't? Well, that takes care of that. I guess. I wasn't here? Yeah, we did the Epstein Foundation door. Which that was cool, we got a little backstory on that. So we are trying... Yeah, so I need to go to the south teleport... Teleporter? Portal thingy? Uh, I kinda wanna fight... Nah, we'll, we'll hold off. You even got to speak to those puppets. <laughs> what, her, her fake family? Is that what we're talking about? Collapse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is the... I am guessing this is the right way and it's gonna be blocked off until we open up the new sealed stone with, with Ren in it. But I want to make sure. And grab this last chest. Springed egg. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a chesty cough. Fucking dumb. Fucking dumb. Oh, a sun door. Hell yeah, we found another door. To choose left or to choose right, only the cards know what the future holds. If you wish to step inside, present the governs, present the card that governs fate. Oh, so this is what you're saying, Crow. This is the that card we got. Um, don't misplace some trinkets. Well, I know this one takes that destiny card that we already picked up. Is this a, a long minigame door, or can I do this one tonight? And if someone wants to answer that, please do. It's a quick door. Alright, sweet. I'm gonna use the restroom real quick, and then we'll do this door. So give me, give me like one minute, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry. I just know things are gonna get real for a minute.
Okay. I'll try to be as fast as I can. Wait, I thought this was a different door. This is a long minigame. Unlock stone first, but you can do it in parts three stages. This is long, and also I'd hold off until you've already read the books. Okay. We will wait then. <sighs> okay, and this is the dead, the end of this. Oh, we got our t new teleport spot. Let's see if there's any weapons. It's a story minigame. Huh. Okay. Subaru. Subaru. Natsuki Subaru? Uh, I don't see, like, a Ren weapon. Doesn't she have, like, a scythe? Watch her, like, use a fucking gun or something now. Be funny. Uh, do we have any new... Quartz? Oh, we do! Hell yeah! Let's go. We'll buy... Oh, no, we really get one of those. Oh, wait, and we got that, but that's garbage. Okay. We got the wood gem. Might buy one of these. Might as well. Oh shit, we got onyx gems now. Movement minus two? Fuck. Fuck. We got gold gems? Hell yeah. Welcome to Onyx Gems. Uh, I kind of want one of these two. Wait, did I? I didn't buy one of those. Alright, we'll get one of those. Yeah, movement minus two fucking sucks, man. I mean, I like the 10% more, but. I mean, if I put my people in the front row, they can almost surely. You don't think it's worth? Three quarts after unlocking, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm, I'm just getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Anix is like, speed's the most important. What are you talking about? We'll see. Alright, we gotta open our stuff up, then we'll discuss quartz and shit. Let's go. I think if I put... It could fuck you up, but I think if I put the people with those quartz on in the front row, they'll probably be fine. And especially it's good on Chloe because it doesn't matter for her. She just stands in the back and shoots shit. Alright. Let's get our our other child. We're gonna have two children now. Unleash Ceiling Stone. Yo, this is a character I did not fucking expect. I mean, Richard obviously either, but goddamn. Did you read Gambler Jack? Uh-oh. I have not read it yet. Like, like read it in game or just read it period? Her remote's good. Do Why are you asking that? Is it important for me to have read Gambler Jack in the near future, by the way? I, I guess that wouldn't be a big spoiler, right? Read it at all. Re read it at Oh, read it at all. Oh, you're answering my question. My bad. The delay's fucking me. I have not read it at all. It's Ren, Poggers. It really is Ren. I mean, we knew it was, but... If they give me an orb or I don't fucking know what I'd do. My mind works. I don't think we'll get in blah blah. Go <laughs> Wait, did I actually say that on June 1st? Oh, <laughs> Wait. Did you... <laughs> no way you, like, wrote this down, Crow. What the fuck? The minigame's related to Gambler Jack. Oh, okay. Um, maybe I won't do that door tonight, then, and I'll read Gambler Jack tonight. I wrote them down. Oh my god. Fuck, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> what the fuck? I still don't know how she's gonna fit in this. I mean, obviously, we've been trying to, like, save her from Ouroboros, but what the hell? This is wild. I was excited to pull them out when you unlocked Ren. What a bastard. 
This really is a band of misfits. I mean, everybody else was fine. You know, it was like, okay, I could see them. But Richard? Never would have fucking guessed that. And Ren? No way either. I guess Ren was in the fucking, uh... The opening cutscene thing for... Wait, was it for this game? I think so. Ah, right, anyway. Let's see what Ren has to say. I can't believe it. So how do you feel about this part? About this party? You know, this game is fucking amazing. The fact that they give me so many cool characters and options to play with and... Uh... I don't know how Richard and Ren fit into this, though. Like... They're in both openings? Yeah. Huh. I guess I should have ne seen them coming, but... Yeah, so my main thing is, how do Ren and Richard fit into this party? I don't get it. Unless the game is just like, you know, these characters would be cool to play with. Here you go. Ren's a caster. Huh. Wait, so I'm about to replace Chloe? I'll do it, though. Since I do want to play with Ren. As long as she's a decent replacement for Chloe, I'll use her. But, let's... Let's... Is she gonna, like, try to kill them after seeing them? Uh, that's what I wanna know. I wanna see what's gonna happen here. I can't believe it. It really is Ren. And it looks like she's fast asleep, but fast asleep. Papa. Oh, mama. <laughs> Who's Chloe? <laughs> Only Ren now. Fair enough, Crow. Fair enough. I think a fun party would be to have uh, Tita and Cl and Ren. Why? Ren. Aw, poor Ren. Poor Ren, man. Where am I? Estelle, Josh, Ren. Oh. This is just a dream. Ren. Estelle? Joshua and Tita too? <laughs> what a nice dream this is. Aww. Ren. Aww, Estelle. Oh. Oh, silly Estelle. You're supposed to be older than me. You shouldn't be acting like a clingy child. You're so worn, though. You smell so nice. Oh. It's almost like this isn't a dream at all. Oh! <laughs> she realized real quick. Wh what's going on? Ren, this... What are you doing here? No, never mind that. What am I doing here? It's okay, Ren. I'm going to explain now, so try and stay calm, okay? You see, we're not sure how it happened either, but... Don't come any closer! If you take another step towards me, I will kill you! I figured this was gonna happen. I'll try and handle this, Estelle. Do you mind taking a step back? Okay. Alright, Josh. Happy to see you again, Ren. How have you been all this time? How is any of this your business? You're just as bad as Estelle is, Joshua. You got the first 16 party members now? Who do you think is on the second page? I don't think we're getting a second page, but... <laughs> if there was a second page... Fucking Gilbert, Kurt, Grant, Karna... Uh... Cassius... You know... Sid... All of them. We get all of them. But I don't think we are. You're just as bad as Estelle is, Joshua. Why would you two leave me alone and stop following me around? Oh, the three ravens? True, yeah, them too. I figured you must have noticed. You're right. For the past months, past few months, we've been traveling around tra Oh! I don't think that was ever explicitly said before, right? Or am I just dumb? They actually set off, and the whole point of their journey was to just find Ren? Damn. 
Now, I am sad that my... <laughs> I'm sad that if if this is all the characters, that my anime prediction of Luve coming back and being our final party member isn't going to come true. Sad, boys. Luve actually dead. I'm sad. <laughs> Estelle's bad at giving up. Yeah, she is. We're in Crossbell. Yo, they're in Crossbell right now? That's cool. We're in Crossbell at the moment, too. Are we getting warmer? Yeah. You're in Crossbell? Why? Why do you want to find me so much? We just want a chance to talk with you. We heard from a reliable source that you haven't been back to Ouroboros since we last fought. And is that true? What's that got to do with either of you? All I want to- All I want is to be left alone. I don't want to talk to either of you. I don't even want to see you. Hmm, Crossbell? <laughs> this means nothing to me. I mean, I know the next two games are Crossbell, but... That's all I know. I don't know what else it could be relevant to in this game. <clears throat> Maybe Ren's the protag of Crossbell, and I don't know it yet. So why don't you just le leave me be? Uh, because... Sorry, Ren. This one's on me. Ever since you flew off, I haven't been able to get you off my mind. I've been getting Joshua to look into where you might be, and we've been going around chasing down every possible lead. I just like the shout-out. But that's why I'm so happy to finally be able to see you again like this. Ren's the main character now. Move over, Estelle. Nah. I don't care how cute Ren is. She ain't beating Estelle. But... But... <laughs> oh, I get it now. You're lying, aren't you? Really, all of that's just a cover for the fact you're going to try- you're trying to capture me. This girl's delusional. Ren, one of the orphans. One of the- Ren, one of the orphans, one of the ravens, and Gilbert are the crossbill pro <laughs> Yo, I mean, if it is in the future... Listen. Yo, for real. If there's a future game, like an actual future game, like, that takes place in the future, it's gotta have Ren grown up, Tita grown up, Fucking, yeah, maybe one of the orphans, or fucking Luke or whatever from the Barrel who wants to become a bracer. <laughs> and one of the Ravens as like the senior bracer, you know? That'd be wild. <laughs> what? Sorry to disappoint you, but I think about as much as Jocelyn does about Ouroboros. Okay, <laughs> careful what you wish for. Eh, we'll see. Even if you catch me. No spoilers, obviously. I don't want to know even a hint of a new ca of a character coming back or in the future games or anything like that. Keep me blind as can be. Oh, I gotta miss it. One sec. <laughs> Alright. I don't know if I read this, but we'll do it again. If you catch me, you're not going to get anything useful out of me, and even if I did know lots of dirty secrets, I wouldn't tell you. Did you feel real stupid for wasting your time now? Well, wait a second, that's not... Well, are you going to try your luck anyway? You've sure brought up a lot of familiar... Brought a lot of familiar faces for backup. Why well, spin comes back sprinkled on a nice steak. <laughs> the salt man. Even I might have trouble taking on this many people at once. You know, Weissman... Nah, there's no way he's coming back. Maybe if there's like a time... Septarian and we go back in the past and he's there or some shit. That's the only way I'd ever see him coming back. Naya may have trouble taking on this many people once. Yo, her scythe is sick as fuck. But I'm confident. I'll leave at least a few of you headless before I end up beaten. Fucking crazy girl. Are we ever gonna have her not have the dead eyes like that? Kind of like, she's like Joshua. Very reminiscent. I'll never get tired of Weissman salt jokes. <laughs> They're pretty funny. But Crow, you're insulting a whole nation with the salt jokes. A whole nation of pe or like half a nation got turned to salt. And you're just joking about them, essentially. Hmm. Uh, Ren? You've gotta be kidding me. 
I'm pretty sure Agate has said the literal line of you gotta be kidding me like 40 times in these games. Headless Josh and Estella's pro tags. <laughs> what am I supposed to do, Shara? Don't ask me, this doesn't look good. Oh, Rhea's out here stepping up. Rhea's is about to end, Ren. Well, I think I know who you are now. Ouroboros Enforcer number 15, the Angel of Slaughter, correct? You certainly do know me. I don't know you, though. Are you the knight of- are you a knight of the church? Yes, I am Rhea Sargent, a squire. And while I may not be familiar with your circumstances, would it hurt you to behave less like a self-centered child? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Uh, excuse me? Do you call me a self-centered child? From what I've heard, your intelligence and deductive reasoning have few peers. That led you to joining Ouroboros, obtaining both the current rank and abilities you now have. So unless I'm wrong, I find it very hard to believe you haven't already figured out that this isn't a trap we've set to capture you. Spitting facts. And yet you still expect us to waste our time and humor your little temper tantrum? So yes, I did call you a self-centered child. Damn. Mommy Rius now. She's in charge. Um, Rius. D damn she sure doesn't mince words. My, you're a brave one, aren't you, miss? Did I hear a lowly squire like you trying to provoke an enforcer like me? You must really want to end up splattered all over the floor. Damn, fucking... Ren painting some pictures for me here. I could say the same to you. I have no idea why everyone else here regards you favorably. But I, for one, have no interest in being friends with someone from Ouroboros. My money here's on Ren. Yeah, I don't think Rias is quite the strength of an Ouroboros member. Rias will bend Ren over her D and spank her ass. That's what Estelle wants to do, right? She said, yeah, Joshua can, uh... Oh, and she said that while standing next to Josh, who used to be a Ouroboros. <laughs> So if a battle is what you want, I will be more than happy to oblige. Oh no. R Rias? A Templar sword, huh? Those can certainly be a rude awakening in the right hands. Of course, everyone else who's ever tried to challenge me with one ended up being quite predictable after a while. <laughs> Before long, they were all begging me for mercy like pigs out about to be slaughtered. It was ever so pity pitiful. Tiki, I can't wait to hear you do the same. Oh shit. Ren! No! Do you actually want to fight, or do you only intend to stand around trying to sound threatening? I suppose that is enough talking. C come on now, you two! Both of you, stop it! Yeah, Tita, step up, girl. Get in that mech and fuck them both up. Uh, Tita? Uh, hey! Oh, wait a sec. <laughs> Agate stepped forward there. I saw that. Aw, oh, we get this song. <clears throat> Why are you so desperate to try and fight when you know you really don't really want to? Ren, you're trying to make it sound like you don't care about Estelle and Joshua, but deep down, you're happy to see them again. You know it. And Rias, you've already realized that Ren's not actually a bad person. It doesn't matter what she's from that she's from Ouroboros. You think Rias is your second favorite Sky character? <laughs> she's pretty great. I don't know if she's a second favorite for me. I mean, obviously Estelle... Nah, she doesn't beat Olivier. No way. Well, I'm happy. Of course I'm not. Why could I possibly be... Then why did you look so happy when Estelle hugged you? Right up until after the moment you realized this was all real, you were acting like it was the best dream you'd ever had. I do love this. And now you're saying you don't want to talk to them? That you don't want to see them? Uh, hold on a minute, Tita. That's not true at all. It's not true at all, Just so just admit it. Oh, look, Tita Sprite's eyes are even, like, glistening with tears. Aww. Poor Tita. 
Sweetie. I swear, she just cut my life short about 10 years. What the hell was she thinking? That <laughs> fucking agate. Yeah, Zen's not the best character. <clears throat> Look at you, honestly. Oh, she put it I Thought you were a year older than me, you know. And here you are, crying away. You're not setting a very good example. I can't help it. <laughs> What's supposed to do when you guys finally see each other again and all you do is end up fighting? That's just too sad. Aww. Where's my Tita emote? It'll come eventually. It will come eventually. Poor Tita. Uh, hey! What are you crying for? Why did you have to... <laughs> you know the answer to that already, Ren. It's because she likes you. She does? Hey, Ren. I know we still got our differences, but how about we put all that aside and call a truce for now? A truce? Excuse me? <clears throat> As I'm sure you can tell, we're in the middle of a really messy situation right now. And however you got here, you've ended up being dragged right into it with us. I'd say it's in all our best interest to work together. At least until we get out of here. Anyway, what do you say? That's certainly true, but there's still plenty we don't know about our predicament. Have some, having someone with your intellect on our side may well help us to fill the remaining blanks. In fact, I would greatly welcome your assistance. Yeah, I'm the colonel. I'm not a colonel, Estelle. Regardless, I think it would be in our, your best interest to work with us too. Cooperating will allow you to gather information more efficiently, as well as make it easier for you for you to ensure your own safety. That's true. It's obvious that what, wherever we are, it's somewhere abnormal. So it goes without saying, and that having me around, without saying that having me around would be a big help to all of you. Oh. All right. Out of respect for Tita's bravery, I'll spare you all this time. Fill me in on exactly what's going on here. Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Ren. J just so we're clear, I haven't decided whether I'm going to work with you or not yet. All I'm promising is to listen to your explanation of what's happening, then I'll decide if I'll help. Oh, Ren. Oh, Ren. I see. I think I've got a pretty good idea what's going on now. Whoever chose this place's name couldn't have picked a better one, could they? What? Have you figured something out that we hadn't? Possibly. I'm still not completely certain yet. But I'm relatively confident in my theory after hearing the Colonel's story, though. Me? Gotta teach them young on how to sundere. <laughs> Ren's being a sundere. <laughs> She really is. Hmm, I do like Sundaris. Hmm, hmm. Hmm. My own experience was the same as everyone else's, ending up here after being surrounded by a sudden white light. But you say you weren't wearing your uniform when it happened to you, right, Colonel? How many times must I... Well, I wasn't, as I explained to everyone when I first arrived. I was wearing a shirt and slacks, as I do every other day for, at work. Hey, just checking, so then tell, then tell me something. No, 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 Crow, you take that the wrong way. You take this time, <laughs> no! She's even younger than Tita! We do not need the FBI in here right now, please. <laughs> Would you say you have quite a strong emotional attachment to that uniform? Pardon. Oh, uh, that's definitely a yes. It's a symbol of your past, the past you just can't quite move on from. Even though you need to. Am I right? Yes, you are. Richard. It's no surprise you feel that way from my perspective. <laughs> and lo and behold, the moment you appeared in this world, you were wearing that very same uniform again. What do you think that could mean? I do like Zach 2022 on 
<laughs> I meant as a character archetype, not... not as... no. <laughs> that would mean that when I arrived here, my attachment to the past ended up being manifested as reality. In other words, this world is capable of changing based on people's thoughts. Ooh. Oh. Huh. <laughs> no, it makes sense. And not to me, it doesn't. Can you explain in slightly less complicated terms for the rest of us? It's actually a really simple thing. I like how the youngest one here is, like, explaining everything to us. I haven't been this disturbed since the Tita door. Disappointed. You remember how Luciola used the gospel to make you experience a dream, right? Right. Where everyone's like, wow, you two should totally get together to- Oh yeah, that was fucking disturbing, actually. Like, <laughs> why were all these characters for that? That was... Surely the original Japanese text uh, translation doesn't imply that. Ren has genius level intellect? Yeah, yeah, I get you, Anixi. Accidentally fat finger the Ender key? It's all good. The dreams we saw were different depending on what we wanted to see, too. Of course, unlike that, this isn't a dream, but the concept is bas basically the same. Anyway, just like in Luciola's dream worlds, this world changes depending on what the people inside it want. This also happens to recreate places that exist in their memories, too. It all falls into place nicely once you simply simplify it, doesn't it? Remember, just because technology is advanced doesn't mean it's pretty much medieval. That's true. I mean, this isn't real life, obviously. Which I'm not one to try to compare anime and JRPGs and stuff to real life. Not to mention, culturally, the game, the country this came from, Japan, is, you know, different than the US, so... Or Western countries, you know? You think the Japanese translation didn't have a gap romance with a 12 year old? Oh, you summer child. Yeah, I know, I know. We just gotta remember it's from a different type of culture. It's fine. <clears throat> so it does. Me, a Mexican, trying not to cringe at the fact 12 year olds are legal. Oh, are they? Oh, no. It's fucked. That's fucked. At least my state has that age range, that's good. Lolly gang. <laughs> Fucking Daryl, come in here with hashtag lolly gang. Fuck off, dude. No, bad hashtag. Bad. Fucking Peabob loves his lollies. Don't let him fool you. Every anime he watches and recommends to me, it's because there's a fucking lolly in there. Explains the monuments we've encountered and how the doors work, too. So still, while that explanation may explain the contents of this world, I find it hard to believe that any of us would desire the predicament we found ourselves in. Mexico come for the good food? Run for the lack of age of consent. <laughs> New Mexico does have some good food. When I, uh, was in Mexico, I went to Mexico a lot for work in the past at my old job. And it was, yeah, I liked eating there for sure. She's actually 1,000 years old. I'd be more scared about the narc. <laughs> but that's me. Uh, <clears throat> no, I don't disagree. We're not the only ones here, though, are we? Oh. So in other words, many of the contents of this world exist because of us, but its overall structure is the result of someone else within it. <laughs> From what I can gather, yes. What exactly is making all of this possible is the part I'm still puzzling. <sighs> making people's wishes reality was the purpose of the Ariel. But now that's been lost, and I can't think of anything else capable of doing the same. So maybe the Ariel is in involved in this? It's very possible. Because, I mean, the thing can't just be gone forever, right? Someone has it, or is playing with it or something. At least I think. We still got a wish for a huge ass pieces of Mirian ore. Yep. We all get our weapons made out of that and then we can go fuck everything up. Perfect. <clears throat> I think it's 
easy for all of us to point the finger at who wished for this world to behave the way it does, at the very least. Start wishing. The Lord of Phantasma. <clears throat> exactly. Based on everything that's been said, they weren't in this world originally. That was the ghost you've encountered. Until the Lord of Phantasma, she simply watched over this place from this garden here. But then they showed up, stole her power, and started remaking the world according to their own whims. The result is that we're stuck in right now. Is what we're stuck in. Well, what do you think? Huh. Oh, wow. Damn, feels like you just popped your head in and solved all these crazy mysteries like they were nothing. It's certainly impressive. Even I hadn't been able to deduce quite that much. You really are a genius, Ren. I'm sure you could have worked this much out if you'd really put your mind to it, Joshua. Unless his still stupidity is actually contagious and rubbed off on you. Oof. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Mm -hmm. Deary me. Either way, it sounds like this Lord of Phantasma person likes games just as much as I do. And without me, I don't know if you'll be able to beat them, so I suppose I'd better lend you all a hand. Tee, I hope you're all very grateful. Yeah, sure. It's nice to have a cutie like you on board, Ren. Well, now that that's settled, it's time to use that cube to take us back to the fifth plane so we can move on. Now that we've gotten close to working out what's going on, we should be able to move on to the next part of the game board now. I'm guessing our opponent's ready to make the next move, too. Hmm. Someone's confident. Still, have it your way. It's not as though we have any option other than to press on. I'm expecting we'll encounter a devil at the end of this plane, just like we have at all the others. We should only move on when we're sure we can handle it. Oh, I can really do without the extra trouble. Then again, I am curious what these devils are like in reality. Would you like to come and have a look with me, Tito? Uh, I'm not sure the two of us just going would be such a good idea. Aw, she was so, so opposed to being with us earlier. I'll look at her. <clears throat> bum, bum. Yeah, I really guess she came around. Hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to her while we're in here, too. Alright, so, swapping out, swapping out my girl Chloe. Yeah, look at Ren. <laughs> look at Ren. Has a low stam, but incredible arts not limited by lines. Okay. Alright, so let's hook up Ren. Sure, we'll have to get her slots first, I'm sure. Oh, no. They gave her uh, full slots to begin with. Oh, thank God. I think every character I have now is uh, maxed out. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can give her. Hey, look at her weapon. Nine lives. Enforcer's Scythe said to be able to claim nine lives at once. Fourteen. So, is it worth losing 200 defense for 100 arcs? Maybe. Fuck it, let's lose some more and get, get them arcs up, girl. All right, now we go to Chloe and get those crimson eyes. Crimson eye, crimson eye. 1922, that's about where Chloe was. <sighs> look at her art, I didn't really take a second to look at it. <laughs> She's like... Man, I love the art on all the characters in this game. Richard's a badass. Aw, oh, Ren looks so cute. Tita's so cute, too. Everyone just looks great, man. I love it. Okay, check out ornaments for her. Absorb. Covers 2% of users max HP when defeating an enemy. Um, they gave us decent stuff on her, but... Oh, they gave us a mm, sapphire gem. That's nice. Do I even want attack on her, though? I don't think so. 
We're gonna use her strictly for arts. Death? Kills an enemy with 20% success. Um... I don't know about that. I don't want that. Fuck that. Uh, we'll put a better... Yeah, let's put a water gem on here. What's Yin Yang do? Oh, and I just realized all of her stuff is one line. Damn, she is OP. Her S craft is attack based. That's actually annoying, though. Um, okay. I don't think I want this death one. Unless she has some, like, hidden chance to increase death stuff. So we want action, probably cast also. Uh, hold on. Let's just get a onyx gem. Let's make a couple onyx. Still cast two's the best, that's annoying. Don't forget to take her back where you got her. Oh yeah, yeah, thank you for reminding me. That's a good point. I will make sure I do that right when we're done here. So Onyx. I think EP cut probably. Mm, I guess we don't need Septia, or we don't need Absorb. I think Absorb's doo-doo. And then we can put attack on her. But she has such low defense though, and no HP. She's gonna get one shot. We need a silver gem? What does silver gem do? Oh, there it is. Oh, that's the max EP? She should never get- well, you say that, and then I fight a boss, and that goes right forward and fucks her up. I already have a silver gem? So the question is, do we just drop this? I kinda need the... the earth. I don't know if I want attack. Cause if I could have this and this. Got death screen now. Clock down, clock up EX. Maybe I should be going for a certain spell. Wasn't, uh, one of these really good? A green gem with and no septium would give you a map-wide full heal. That would be very strong. Let me see what that is. Like, if we... I don't want emerald, though. Wood gem's probably f better. Oh, the La Tier All? Oh. It's so expensive, but I do have a shit ton of EP now. Ooh, Enfeeble. Minus 25% defense, so that's pretty good. Silver Thorn. 90% chance to confuse. I mean, this seems pretty strong, actually, so I think I like this. I know you said her S-Craft was attack-based or whatever, but... I don't think it's worth trying to slot it in here. I am very concerned for her health pool and defense right now. She has literally such little health. 
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go max out our CP. Oh, I should probably talk to everyone too, also, right? Okay, okay. Hmm, it is an interesting concept, I must say. Who would have thought this world changes in accordance with the, to the thoughts and desires of those within? If what Ren was saying about discovering that being one of the conditions to moving on to the sixth plane is true, then we must be reaching the end of this particular plane. All this crap about how Phantasm's made up is giving me a headache. It doesn't take a genius to figure out just how strong the fiends in it are getting the farther in we go. We're gonna have to get a hell of a lot stronger if we want to stand a chance against them. If the world we're in really does change as a result of our thoughts, then we're going to need more than just physical strength in the battles ahead. We're going to need mental strength too. Okay. Huh. Huh. Annalise can't figure it out, can she? She's trying her best, but that little, that smooth brain of hers, it's not gonna work. Um, Annalise? Well, what are you doing? Well, you heard what Ren said earlier, right? Oh no, she's trying to change the world with, with her thoughts. Oof. How about how this world changes as a result of what people inside it want? Yeah, but what does that have to do with this? She's desperately trying to wish a stuffed toy into existence with the power of her mind. Hey, I'm trying to concentrate here. Can you be a little more quiet? Should I go with a fluffy, beady-eyed bomb? Oh, maybe a nice silky bear or a super soft panda. <laughs> There's so many wonderful choices, I can't decide which to go with. Concentrate, you can't even decide what you want. Please focus on one of them and see how that goes before getting greedy. <laughs> oh, Annalise. You funny, girl. So what we got over here? Uh-oh, Josh and Chloe talking. Watch out, Estelle. It's amazing to think that this world is where people's thoughts become out. Even after all we've seen so far, I still find myself doubting that could even be possible, but it certainly makes sense. Still, if we assume that everything that's happened so far has gone according to plan for the Lord of Phantasma, I think it's about time we started trying to change that, hmm? Joshua? What are you doing here? Oh, not much. I was just giving some thought to what we might find ourselves up against during the remainder of our time here. Hmm. Why would you waste time doing that when we'll find out by proceeding anyway? Don't worry about anything as long as I'm with you all. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Uh, um, Ren. <laughs> um, take care, okay? It seems like the situation we're in is even more severe than I feared. We've discovered a number of rules that govern this world, all implemented by that Lord of Phantasma. What if they created a rule that dictates we can't actually leave this world? Skip one. What's Tita doing over here? Oh, Ren! What are you doing here, Tita? Oh, I was part of just wandering aimlessly while I was preoccupied. Seeing you again made me remember all the fun things we did together before, so I've been thinking about those. Like that time we went shopping and bought those really pretty brooches and stuff. <laughs> oh right. Reminds me though, I found one exactly like them in a tiny little shop a while back. The jewel in the middle was red though. Oh, you're so lucky. They're all sold out of those in the shop in Gransel. <laughs> I really wanted the red one too. I know, why don't we go on a shopping trip together sometime then? We can go to somewhere really far away. That's where Ren sits? Oh, really? You like the Eastern Quarter in Calvert, that's for sure. You can spend a whole day shopping there and never feel bored. Really? What kind of the cute accessories they have there? Oh yeah, let me tell you about the pendant I bought a while back. And it looks like they're back to good times in no time. See you real quick. Let's go! Ah, she does sit there. There are loads of big shops in the Empire, too. A huge stuffed bear in one of them a while back. As big as a grown man. Oh, uh, what, really? I kinda wanna see it now. Leave it to Rin! Leave it to Rin! Bum, bum, bum. Hold on, let me shift tab real quick. Oh. 
No P-Bob playing Rise, I'm disappointed. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see what these guys have to say. Oh, it's just as it? This condition is stabilized though, compared to before. He does still have a small fear, but it's nothing worth freaking out about. Well, fever never hurt anybody. We must check the books at all times. Okay. I guess we're moving forward now. Hopefully it runs pretty good. Um, also... Do we want to give Richard an Onyx Gem? Probably? Um, I want to keep Haze. But maybe instead of Strike, we can give him more movement. Just to make up for losing that. Plus Strike, I don't think Strike's that good. It's only 10% crit. Okay. I should honestly get four Onyx Gems. Estelle's movement's pretty... And by the time he's level 130... Go on. He'll be doing eight turns in a row. That sounds a little excessive. But alright, let's uh, move forward then. Oh, and I didn't see what their uh, support abilities were. I would have liked to at least check them out, but we can do that later. Alright, look at this squad now. Three characters new to this game, basically, and Estelle. Renz is 40% XP. Oh, she's who I use to grind. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, we don't see stuff on the map anymore. That's a thing. That's a straight line. Oh, my back is so sore. Oh, well. What we got here? Just this thing. <laughs> Don't die. Aww. I wanted to cast with the Ren. This is bullshit. Oh, yeah. We have too many Celestial Bomb. Oh, fuck. Potter. Yep, yep, yep. Man, my memory is doo doo. That was fuck. That was way back, though. Whoops, wrong path. My memory is complete shit. It happens. At least the, the nice thing is if you say spoilers to me at some point, I'm probably gonna forget about the spoilers before I get to them because I'm fucking dumb. All right, Ren. Zan. Oh my god, 52 under. She's got a little, such a little, small, tiny voice. Um, so her thing was this way. That's a celestial bomb I can't get. Oh yeah, I need to give those items to Richard also to make his CP come back. Damn it. I forget. Oh, he's weak to dark matter, yeah. Push that off. Wait, he really just, like, keeps getting to go, eh? What the fuck? This is busted! Oh my god. What the fuck? Hold on. Alright. We don't need these on her. Just give her... I don't know. 
I'll give her some random shit for now. Sure. Wait, was I not using o I was using Ogre Slash, right? Ah, uh, but then I can't have Tiger Heart. Fuck. So do I drop Tiger Heart for Lunar Seal? What do you guys think here? Cause, I mean, that's 200 strength. That's pretty fucking huge. Embrace Lunar Seal, Rigid Tiger Heart. Alright, I got one vote for that. We'll do it. I guess we can give a Stell, uh. Fuck. Where we're we going, we don't need 200 strength. <laughs> I can give it to, like, Rias or something. Kinda wanna give it to Stell. I mean, I guess it's better than the Fisherman's thing, right? Okay. Let's go find the Potter Motter. Fuck you, bug. Die. Mama, that was easy. The back. You idiot! How dare you miss? Wait, are these weak to that? Let's see how much this hits for. Oh god, I don't want to hit it out. Alright, Ren, kill them all, please. Oh my god, so much damage. What the fuck? And they all got confused. Alright, Ren is, uh, amazing. And all I've done is cast with her. So we're going up. And, yep, yeah, okay. This is where it's at. Just kidding. We must find the Potter Mater again. Now kill this bitch. Oh yeah, and we have him. Let's see, so he's at 135. Ooh. Wait, he only got... That wasn't very much there. Oh, I used the wrong ability. Fuck. Oh well. I don't want to make this thing disappear. Hmm. I don't know, like... How does the headband and lunar thing... Lunar seal work? Like... How does it determine how much CP you get back when you use a, an attack? Is it based off the damage you do? Remember if targets hit, really? Oh, both of those? Okay. I still learned true wield time. Oh, shit. Okay. Does it automatically upgrade her S-break to that? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, because I think the ability just gets upgraded. Potter Potter. Okay. Uh, so, I'm guessing... If this thing's not broken, we're gonna get this thing as our S-Craft or something for Ren, like an upgraded one. I guess we'll see, but... Are you okay? Can you hear me? Oh, there were dots on the screen. I didn't see them. It looks like he can't... Oh no. Is there some kind of problem in his orbital engines? It looks that way. Excuse me? Whether that's because he's damaged or this world's power has rendered him unable to move, I don't know. 
Still, let's let him sleep for now. He'll wake up eventually. I'm sure sure of that much. How can you be so sure? Because he's my papa and mama rolled into one, of course. He always comes flying when he knows I need it. This time won't be any different. I see. Anyway, let's get going then, shall we? Maybe we'll end up running into something that'll help us get him moving somewhere in Phantasma 2. Ah, a little foreshadowing, maybe? <laughs> yep. So does, does that trigger the fact, like, an item t to be able to appear or something? seal and belt on him kind of feel like doo-doo. We'll see. Shoing, shoing. All right, let's finish this dungeon tonight. Oh. Resist death, you fucker. I want to see your crafts. Uh, line attack, those are scythe, KO 10%. Spinning attack that's supposed in white area. He doesn't need two headbands. Maybe I will give him- ooh. Oh, this is that ability she fucked me with in, uh, the earlier game. That was some bullshit, by the way. Yeah, I know Kevin and Rias can pump, her, pump him up. Oh, he's fucking. Yeah, I think Gladiator built Tiger Hearts probably the play as well then. Yeah, and that means we can have just have Fisherman's emblem there. Tiger Heart, and then we can give her. Seal, maybe. Broken with Phantom Raid? Yeah, I mean, as long as there's enough uh, targets, right, he'll just be able to spam it. Or almost spam. I keep saving. Wait, did I just go backwards? I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? I'm so dumb. I got reading chat and I just went fucking backwards like a dummy. Never found time to use Olivier or Agon in this in this game. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just like first. I think they give you all these characters so you can just do whatever you want, right? Like, obviously, some are gonna be better than others, but not everybody plays just to use the most optimal team. Some people just like to use characters they find fun. Silver Thorn. I can kill one at a time. Yeah, you use them for two games straight. It's a nice little change of pace for you. A kitty suit? What the fuck's a kitty suit? Defense 750, dex up, agility up, speed up, movement plus one. I mean, really? I might use this on her. I don't need the arts. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> She's in a kitty suit. Ooh, another door? I guess let's check it out. See what's uh, up about this door. Bring to me the playful minstrel and his closest ally. So, uh, Olivier and Mueller, I'm guessing. 
the beast they seek his closest ally against the beast they seek to overcome. Only then shall the door open. I assume it's Mueller. If not, Mueller it's like Shara, but... It is, a. Uh... Hey, no, 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 don't... <laughs> don't spoil it. This is the one. I would prefer not to know how good they are going in. Fuck. Um, what are they? It's weak to dark matter, right? Yeah. But I guess that's also personal preference on doors as well. So it doesn't spoil too much. It's fucking tanky, boy. Uh, we can make this one. There we go. My mom, that was easy. Richard learned an S-Craft, Sakura Morning Moon. Sure. Night Sabatons? What are those? Um, four, not really that good. Okay. And Barrel Bracelet. You're the sister here. Does thou shall not steal ring any bells? <laughs> uh, what's this thing we just got? Prevents movement and speed down. It's not bad. Oh, that's all that was here. Okay. I'm probably gonna say it's bugged, really. It lies? Oh no. That's dumb. Uh, of course. Uh, we don't need to gain some CP for the boss fight. <laughs> Same. Bitch. I will ignore the bracelet. That's unlucky that it's bugged. Oh, okay, you did. My mom. That was easy. That was easy. Now we'll get a save point before the boss, so that'll be nice. She ain't got no movement. Holy fuck. <laughs> nice. Flaky potato. Oh, a new weapon for Rias. And a dumb chest quote. Ooh. Yeah, that's way better. What the fuck? Hell yeah. To the end. And this dungeon is pretty lengthy, I like this. I assume that's not the correct way, and the far one is. Another? Wait, did I go backwards again? Yeah, I did. I'm fu How do I do this? How can I be so dumb? I do not know why I get mixed up so bad. How do I- how? I'm- I'm actually impressed with myself how fucking dumb I can be. Alright. Cosplaying Zoro. I am- I really am. There's a reason Zoro's my favorite character, I guess. 
I'm fucking. <laughs> that was actually the perfect comment, Nage. Holy shit. Because I'm literally being him. Oh god. That's embarrassing. Oh man. Shazam. Ba -ba 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 -bum. 3k Mira. Empty. Someone must have taken the chest phrase that used to be in here. Nice. Alright, we didn't go the wrong time this time. Oh, God. My mom, she shoots some song. That was easy. Going up. Give us that supreme hurricane. Let's um, get rid of that. Lots of seven. Another story one. Well, this looks like a, either the prep area or a boss fight. Yep, prep area. Okay, okay. Any new weapons? Any new weapons? No, just the Subaru. Ooh, Ren gets a new weapon. I might as well. The Rose Ripper. Oh, I didn't see. Were there any else that matters. I assume no new quartz, but we can check. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh yeah, let's get our battle Oh wait, battle positions are good. Okay. Equip Ren before we forget, because I was close to forgetting. Bum, 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 and save it up. And now, let us finish maybe this chapter, or at least this dungeon. Oh! Is that our exit out of this plane? Doesn't look like there's anything standing between us and it either. Time to make a mad dash for the... Wait. What's up? You mean this giant square platform doesn't make you wonder if there's gonna be a boss fight still? I can smell the distinctive scent of the underworld. And it grows stronger by the second. What? Are we gonna get surrounded by magic circles then? No, this isn't going to come from a circle. It's coming from above! Uh-oh. Ugh. Fucking spiders. Ugh, I hate spiders. Ugh. Whoa, what? Spiders. Aw, how cute. And they're trying so hard to be intimidating for us, aren't they? <laughs> Ren's like, doesn't give a fuck. These are the three gluttonous Ar Arachne sisters kin of the 77 devils featured in the testaments. They weave nightmares and consume the souls of those who wander into their labyrinth. So this is what real devils are like, huh? They sure look the part. But they're not gonna be enough to stop us. Let's get nasty. Right. Please don't be status effect. The tiny ones. Little shit of spiders. Servants of the sisters crawls rapidly and sinks poisonous fangs. Not great. Thalia. Oh, they have all different names. Youngest of the three sets an evil swarm on their foes and lowers their stats. Oh, fuck. Second of the three calls for aid when hurt and screams on death. So maybe wait on that one. Eldest of the three causes status with her cold stare. Oh, no. Please don't be petrified. So... 
calls for aid. I, I don't know, we're just gonna fucking S-craft all of them, Let, let's be real here. Except Estelle's a single target, right? Okay, let's just pop them or- Oh, I should have morale. No, I didn't morale. Very dangerous bosses. Well, I'm sure I'll wipe and then it'll be easier the second time. That's okay. Let's kill this one. I fucked up though. I should, definitely should have morale. Big regret. Big regret. 12k. Oh yeah, this is a good crit time. Fuck yeah. They have AoE? Ogre slash spam. Oh, I will. Loudest ability in the game. She did. Ogre slash it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And... What are they weak to? Dark matter, pro. I mean... Wait, oh wait. Can I hit them both with this? But they're gonna get to go, so maybe not. Death screen? Actually, oh, no, no, we need to buff our boy first. Oh, they're actually really fast. Oh, fucking movement down, goddammit. Speed up. <laughs> this is gonna be- this is so dumb. Oh, god. <laughs> this, this isn't even fair. What the fuck? I mean, he's taking damage every turn. Oh, there's a big one. Mother. Oh no, I thought we were going to win very easily. Oh no. Maybe we just do this. We really need the we need the cure. Fucking what's his dick over there? Got some health. Um, okay. I just use an item to heal him, honestly. 10k. Slash. She can keep AoE and everything. We're running out! We're out, fuck. I, I want to use Rias to give him more, but. Uh, maybe we should just start pumping into it a little more. Oh, I didn't see the heal. Oh no. Jesus, 8k, man. At least he's got Ogre Slash. Nice miss, idiot. Lots here, all. Oh, yeah, good call. Good call. I don't think we need the heal though, I think we're just gonna win. Ah, it was just a fancy death, okay. I was trying to figure out what was going on there. Yeah, he fucking busted. Dude, Richard is stupid, dude. My god.
still 121, hell yeah. The game doesn't really expect you to not kill it last. Oh yeah, that's supposed to be like, enjoying Richard's damage yet? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. He might be staying in the party. <laughs> Sorry, Annalise. Water gem. Insulating tape. Nice. Huh. Huh. What was up with that last one? That was so unfair. That must have been Zygma, the Three Sisters' mother. And even she was not able to stop us, thankfully. The hell is this? It's like a sealed stone, except a different color. Give him a Zemirian weapon, watch him do work. Oh, do you get Zemirian weapons in this game? That'll be cool. What? That... that looks like... Found ceiling stone. Another ceiling stone, huh? Honestly, I figured Renz was gonna be the last. So I was in a pretty stone like that when you found me too? His Zen weapon has 30 speed. Oh my. Dude, why is Richard so fucking broken, man? That's crazy. Ugh, my back though. I feel like a princess in a fairy tale. <laughs> you kind of were like a little princess, actually. For what? I think this one may actually be different. The other stones had a strange sense of warmth when you held them, not so for this one. Really? Is it because it has something bad in it? No, instead of the usual warmth, it seems to have a cool, just divine feel to it. Is it that, uh... I wonder if it's the lady that's been, like, helping us, if she's in this or something. Almost as if it might contain the goddess herself within. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sharp as usual. Here comes the masked man, right? Yep. He's here. Who's that? So you decided to show your face again, did you? <laughs> the priest is still unconscious, I see. What a shame. I was rather surprised to find out that he can only use his stigma's power against heretics. Even power of that magnitude is meaningless if it's so limited and has such repercussions. I almost pity me. To tell you the truth, I wasn't expecting you to reach this point so quickly. Your final piece is inordinately capable. Oh, might you be referring to me? Thanks to you, I ended up having to make my appearance sooner than I was expecting. Suppose I should have expected no less from the host of Gransel's finest tea party. <laughs> nice throwback. Tea? <laughs> That's very true. Regardless, I came to fulfill a duty, and fulfill it I shall. So he knows about the tea party. I don't- man, I don't know. Think of that stone as a gift for gathering all the pieces scattered throughout Phantasma. It contains not an additional piece, but a rule book of sorts that you may find beneficial. A rule book? That certainly explains why it feels different compared to the others. Could this mean that you're finally ready to face us head on, and continuously taunting us? Whether that time comes is entirely up to you. For now, all I will say is this. In the next game board, all of you will find yourselves face to face with a number of trials to overcome. Report now. He's escaping again. Well, wait a damn minute. Is that all you've got to say? What kind of trials? variety in all shapes and sizes. Even I will be one of them. You? Really now? I eagerly anticipate seeing whether you are able to overcome them all and make it to me. Don't disappoint me now. Shapes and sizes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep. Oh. It's almost as if he can't help but try to taunt us. He stays just long enough to say something cryptic, and then leaves before elaborating every single time. Oh, I just love those types. Ren might have something. Is something wrong, Estelle? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, we might have gotten nothing but cryptic teasers out of him. 
We do have a new ceiling stone to unlock. We should head back to the garden and get to it. I agree. I'm quite curious as to just what this rule book is as well. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, I gotta use the restroom again real quick before all this dialogue happens, so give me one minute. One minute. Kangaroo's larger. Blue stone must be Gilbert. Oh god. Alright. I think it's gonna be that lady that's been talking to us. We'll see though. Wait, way it glows is pretty different compared to all the other ceiling stones. You're right. I wonder who's going to appear out of it. Hello? Is something wrong? No, it's just... The light reading it from it feels somehow... nostalgic. Huh? That comes as no surprise. Nani? We got a blue cloud thingy! Oh. It is that lady. I don't think you're ready, we'll see. It's her. What? She looks like... It's a ghost. So this is either... Is it... Is it a goddess? Is it Gena? Or whatever the name is? I guess we're gonna... We're gonna see. But why Chloe specific? Maybe it's an ancestor of Chloe? I don't know. I just need to keep going. I'm so glad I can finally communicate with you like this. <laughs> I wonder how many hundreds of years it's been since I was last able to hold a true conversation. Your Heinz? Wait. You, you, you aren't... Are you... Ah, it is a dis- It's the- It's the lady who's in all the dialogues in SC in the Liber arc. The one who probably, uh... Like, coordinated everything, putting the areola away, right? It's gotta be. 
it's a pleasure to have a chance to meet one of my own descendants. Allow me to extend a hand and welcome to all of you visitors to my garden. Yeah, Celeste! There we go! It is her! No joke, I actually guessed this way back when. Like when we first uh, saw her, the ghost. I, I thought it was this person. Alright. Celeste D. Oslis. <laughs> it just ends at that? Wow, okay, game. Huh. So what is- what does this mean? This person helping- I don't know what fuck- what does this mean that Celeste is the one that's been helping us and she's in this dimension? I mean, the Ariel has to be involved, right? Maybe this is... Nah, fuck, I don't know. I thought maybe this was the dimension that uh, the Ariel was kept in before we brought it out and revealed it. It means stuff. I guess we'll figure it out. Anyway... That's the end of chapter 5. Way too much stuff happened. <laughs> As usual with these games. Hopefully they explain it very slowly and clearly to me so my small brain can uh, understand. Huh. Well, I wonder if we're gonna get more uh, Kevin backstory in between the two chapters here, so I guess let's move forward and see. Get our saves going. Damn. The chapters go by so fast, like, if you were to skip all the doors, you'd probably beat this game in like fucking 15 hours or something. And remember, just SC was the equivalent of more than the Lord of the Rings trilogy in terms of text. So this is a text heavy series. Yeah, yeah, I get it. None. For sure, I understand. Like, I, I mean, I'm all for it too. Like, I've, I'm obviously on the third game and I've been reading it all out loud and going through all of it. I enjoy it. But with it being so heavy with events and lore, dialogue, I have to go back every once in a while and look things up just so I can remember. Because literally, everything that's said in this game is, like, important. It's crazy. Like, no detail is, like, just there for no reason. Oh you, oh, you do have- yeah, for this game? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I- I guess- I'm assuming, like... SD is all Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and Hobbit combined. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's so good, and I bet, like, subsequent playthroughs of this trilogy actually, like, almost get better every time because you start noticing that they mentioned certain things in a previous moment and like you'll be like oh yeah that's awesome like that kind of stuff is i guarantee happens on other playthroughs so i i could see myself replaying these games for sure you know damn ah oh, they're so good man so... can't really tell you <laughs> All right, let's uh, probably get some Kevin backstory. Let's find out. The only games I've replayed is Cold Steel. Be been tempting to play it in Japanese. Ah, I see, I see. That's fair. What we got here? Oh, yep, yeah, more Kevin backstory. I knew it. But it being so text heavy and using so much vocab, I don't know, I haven't made much progress. Yeah, I bet it's, uh, I bet these games are pretty hard to, uh, try to test your knowledge of Japanese on. And I mean, any kind of game, I think, with Japanese, it uses a lot of terms that you probably don't learn because you learn a lot of, like, everyday terms when you're learning Japanese and stuff, I imagine. So you don't learn about fucking magic and all that stuff. 
Yeah, some are easy and some are hard. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I really want to start studying my Japanese harder. Especially since these games, like, it's kind of an incentive. But I know to get at a level where you can understand the games in Japanese and read them, it's probably like five years at least of dedicated studying, so... It's hard to justify. Anyway, let's- alright, let's go. You've reached them. Emma Rose City Church, how may I help you? Oh, is that you, Kevin? I didn't think you'd be there already, so I was just going to leave a message with the priest. Sometimes I go full commas only searching like five words. Excuse me. Others, I'm searching five words in the text box. <laughs> I get you. Oh, hey, Rufina. Oh, Rufina is alive in this one still. Yeah, I got here late this morning. How about you? When do you think you'll be getting here? I'm going to be a little late, I'm afraid. There's been an accident or something, so the tra train's been delayed. I probably won't be getting there until this evening now. Gotcha. I'll wait here till you arrive. I think Rias and the kids would get all bent out of shape if I showed up without you. Oh, please. I'm sure you're just exaggerating. Although, speaking of Rias, I hope you've been thinking about how you're going to cheer her up. <laughs> I've got it all planned out. I've been stocking up on souvenirs from every mission I've been going on. Should be enough to snap her out of her funk. Hmm, I wouldn't be so sure if I were you. Girls her age are more complex than you think. Yeah? I guess she's not really a kid anymore now that she's 13, but still. Actually, it's about how old you were when we first met, right? Oh, damn, she did that sexy kiss when she was only 13? Damn. Damn. <laughs> now that you mention it, it was how time flies. Sorry, looks like the train's about ready to leave. I'm gonna have to go. I'll see you later then, alright? If you get bored of waiting, you're welcome to go on home ahead of me, of course. Got it. See you later. I love how it's, like, giving us Kevin's backstory between all the chapters little by little. Man, how time flies is right. Have I really not been home in two years? I guess that makes nine since I met Rufina. Damn, okay. Uh, I hope Rias isn't too grumpy when we finally get there. C Kevin! Uh, what is it, Father? Has something bad happened? Well... I've just received word that someone spotted a group of men dressed in all black at the edge of town. What's worse is, they were supposedly heading for the mountain path. Huh? Y you don't think? If they were, Astra House must be their target, I fear. Do you have any idea what could be going on? I wish I did. I doubt it's anything to do with the Grossrider, at least. I think I should go and check it out, just in case. Please do. Oh, do you know when Rufin is going to be arriving, by the way? This evening, by the sound of it, she said her train's been delayed. When she arrives, can you let her know what happened? Damn it, Jaegers? Seems like there's anywhere between five and ten of them. What could they want with the gospel facility to begin with? The longer they're allowed to be in there, the more danger the kids are in. I'm gonna have to try and answer so long. It's time to put my combat skills to good use. Okay. Was that the whole scene, actually? Wow. Well, that didn't give us much. Huh. The Chapter 6, The Guardian's Trials. The Guardian, eh? Huh. Alright, Celeste. Celeste? Well, wasn't that name we saw in those data crystals? That's right. According to those, she was the de facto leader of the group of ancients who sealed away the Ariole. Man, it's crazy. So this is really just... It's all about the Ariole, I'm guessing, still. She was also the founder of Beryl's current royal family. <laughs> I'm glad to see the information behind it proving useful to someone. It... It really did. So then, you're f the re you're really the founder of Libero's royal family? Uh, technically. I'm not the real Celestiosly set. Think of me as something of a shadow. Or a partial copy of her personality created in order to influence Phantasma from within. Huh. So who put her? 
How can you be only... How can you only be a partial copy? The truth behind you is apparently more complicated than we thought. You don't appear to be a spirit of some kind, though. I see that now. That is correct. Before I try to explain just what I am, I should probably tell you more about what the world we are in is first. The world we are in is first. You can do that? Huh. This should be interesting. Time for a monologue. As you are aware, the land in which you stand is called Phantasma. This is a world belonging to a higher plane of existence, created several thousand of thousands of years ago by the Ariol. Okay. We get lords up here. All right, I'm all for it. I'm game. Its purpose was to act as a subsystem for the Ariol, in order to incorporate and process the will of the Liber Arx populace. Okay. One might call it a self-organized world designed to realize countless possible others as necessary. Um, uh, pardon? You've lost me. Yeah, isn't there a simpler way to explain this? Huh. Well, well not technically correct. Perhaps you can think of it this way. Phantasma is like a fictitious realm created by the Ariol in order to fulfill humanity's every wish and desire. That's better. What exactly qualifies Phantasma as fictitious? Can't help but think it is far too real to be a land of pure fantasy. When I say fictitious world, I don't mean to suggest that Phantasma is a complete lie. It's more like a shadowgraph or a kaleidoscope. It has its own laws and can change to reflect countless different possibilities. Does this make the concept any easier for you to understand? Somewhat, yes. And suddenly, the name Phantasma seems that much more appropriate. As I stated previously, it was a subsystem of the Ariol, rather than being the Ariol itself, and it helped to grant people's desires. They were separate entities, but effectively like the two sides of the same coin. The relationship caught our eye as we were devising the sealing mechanism. You mean the mechanism used to seal away the Ariol? It was also in the data crystals left behind. Exactly. At first, we thought our plan would be impossible to execute. After all, the Ariol had absolute control over space itself, and was able to influence mankind's every action. Even after coming up upon the idea of tempor temporarily freezing it, and imprisoning it with a gravity, we had no way to implement, implement our plans. Without that, they were simply ideas with no real meaning. We were effectively at a total loss. You had discovered your foe's weakness, but had no way to take advantage of it. That must have been quite the frustrating predicament. Indeed. And yet our pre perseverance rewarded us with the development of something that could take advantage of that weakness. The recluse, cu recluse cube. Are you enjoying how everything is slowly tying together? Yes, very much so. I knew it was going to happen, but it was just... It was a matter of time, right? But now that it finally is, mm, so good, so good. And now we know the cube's reason, like the reason for the cube. Is that what this is known as then? Yes, that is on the only object in existence able to interact with Phantasma without relying on the Ariole as an intermediary. Celeste used that to create a partial copy of her personality, that is me inside Phantasma. And once inside, I began working to sabotage Phantasma's functionality by using this garden as my base of operations. So are the other two just... Are the two bad guys, the masked guys, just like the Ariel like... creations of it to stop us? I, <laughs> sure, I don't... Maybe that's not. We'll see, hopefully. As a result of my efforts, the Ariel's processing ability was hindered just long enough for the plan to be executed. Hmm. He who catches his foe off guard wins the battle. The same principle applies to martial arts, too. Sounds like you really put a lot of thought into planning everything. Hmm. Maybe, but I can't deny that luck played a part in the end. Once the Ariel was sailed away, my work was done and I fell into a deep sleep here. My reason being that if the Ariel were ever unsealed, I might be able to provide assistance to the people of that time. 
Pleased you've been able to handle it just fine without my help, however. <laughs> Shut up, Zoom. <laughs> Luck's played a huge part for us, too, though. We're not even sure where the Oriole is now. As far as we're aware, it disappeared during all that happened at the Liber Arc. I thought as much. I was able to confirm the Oriole's disappearance from here within Phantasma, too. When I did so, I thought my purpose for existing was finally over. And that all that w was left for me in this land was to embrace a slow and peaceful destruction. That was not to be. Soon the Lord of Phantasma appeared. Ah, so that's when it happened. Huh, quite a recent development, I see. Lord of Phantasma appeared out of nowhere, stealing all of my power before I was even aware of what happened. Huh. After doing so, they began to remake Phantasma in accordance to their own designs. Both this world's current structure and the planes that make it up were all the world were all the Lord of Phantasma's creations. Looks like your theory was correct, friend. Still, that makes it sound like Yeah. So you don't know who that masked bastard is either then. I'm afraid not. Their every action thus far has been a mystery. I mean, probably Ouroboros. If they're from the outside. Ordinarily, they should not have been able to gain access to this world in the first place. I'm afraid I have no idea what they are trying to achieve by bringing all of you in here and testing me. Well, that's a shame. Yeah, that's the part we want to know most of all. I only wish I could be of more help. The only other thing I can say about them is that I suspect the Lord of Phantasma is currently in the seventh plane. Ooh, two more? There's a seven. Whoa, what makes you think that? That was the first plane they created after appearing in this world. So what kind of place that plane is, I don't know. But I can sense a dark, inhuman thoughts from there. And they're spreading out across the whole of Phantasma. That doesn't sound good. Then we'll be seeing them after the next one, won't we? Yeah. We just finished the fifth when we came back here. Presuming they're waiting for us on the seventh. The time to fight them head on may not be far off. <laughs> I was getting tired of waiting. As was I, it seems the end may finally be in sight. Now, if only we had some sort of inkling as to what the Lord of Phantasma is trying to achieve. Oh, it's Kevin? It's gotta be Kevin. Actually, I just might. Yep. Kev. Kev's back, eh? Kevin! You're up! It's good to see you again, Father. You too. Wasn't expecting you of all people to get an invitation here. Or you, for that matter, little lady. I'm sure you weren't. I've got something I want to ask you, but I suppose that can wait until later. <laughs> for sure. I like how we got a little pyramid going on here. Or a triangle. Um, are, are you sure you're feeling like this? Right as rain. I'm feeling just great. All that sleep must have done me a lot of good. I see you guys made a whole lot of progress while I was out cold too. Yeah. Hey, I'm Kevin Graham. Or maybe I don't need to introduce myself since you seem to know a thing or two about everyone who's come in here so far. True, I was able to tell what ha was happening at the Liber Arc from the garden. And out of all the people here, you are the one closest to the truth of what is happening. Am I wrong? What? No, I don't think you are. Can't pretend to be much of an expert on the, what Phantasma itself is. But I've got a pretty good idea as to who's responsible for all this. I can only think of one person twisted enough to put us through all we've been through. Huh. Wait, is it someone you know? <laughs> you can say that, yeah. Short version is... A real piece of work. Cunning, arrogant cold-hearted son of a bitch who doesn't even see people as people. And that sums up who we're dealing with. Okay, Kevin, you gonna let us know who it is? So this sounds like a real awful guy. Hmm, and who, may I ask, is it that you were talking about? Well, about that. Would you be willing to wait just a bit longer for the answer to that one? Pretty sure I'm right. I'm still missing one last thing, and it'll let me be completely certain. 
So Kevin's familiar. I wonder if it's the person who killed Rufina. I think they're gonna like tie this together, right? Those two sep Kevin's backstory with that, with what's going on now. I guess, we'll see. But that's my that's currently my guess of who's in charge here or who's like the evil guy. I think we'll find out just what that that is in six plane. <laughs> And here I thought we were finally going to get an answer. Is there a reason you can't share your theory as is? Yeah, I realize I'm asking a lot after we've come so far. But I promise that as soon as I know for sure, I'll talk. I swear on the goddess's name and on the church's emblem. Huh. Well, I don't see any reason to say, say no. Likewise, he's clearly got his reasons. It's not often you ask us favors, so I can let it slide. No problem here. <laughs> if he says wait, I'll wait. I feel as though we can trust your judgment, Kevin. So I have no objections either. Me neither. Don't really care as long as I get to have my fun. <laughs> Leave we're all in agreement then. Yep, consider this one settled. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Anyway, now that I'm up, I'm also down to take lead again. I'd appreciate it if you it if you back me up. No problem. Seems like you're all ready to move on. While you're advancing through the sixth plane, I'll do all that I can to end on my end to find out more about the seven. Of course, if you need my support, I'll be happy to provide it through the cube and the monuments as I always have. Now that you mention it, we haven't really thanked you for all the help you've given us since we got here, have we? Thanks, Celeste. Couldn't have done this without you. We truly are in your debt. Please think nothing of it. I am but a shadow placed here with a duty to fulfill. I believe helping you to be part of that duty. If I may, allow me to help you however I can. Will do. Sorry for worrying you too, Rius. But I'm just fine now. So please, just leave everything to me. I'm begging you. Only if you promise me one thing. Oh, what is it? I won't make you promise not to put yourself in danger or to overdo it. But don't do anything that would make Rufina sad. Oh, damn. <sighs> you really know how to hit a guy where it hurts, don't you? So, will you promise? Yeah, I promise. I swear on her name, I won't. Alright. Ooh, forming the full party. We don't have to take Rius either? Alright, so... De definitely taking Ren. She's strong as fuck. We're definitely taking Richard. An adequate performance. Well, who's number three? Do we keep our main pro tag in? Or do we go Josh? Yo, I might go Josh. Damn, I feel like I would betray be betraying Estelle, though. Holy, it's a hard decision. Well, I'll tell you what, You're I'm gonna ready? take him for now because I'm probably gonna grind a little bit. Let's see if these weapons are better for him. Uh, yo, he's weak as fuck right now. I think we need to buy this for him. Alright, those still aren't better. Um, okay, I think we're good for now. We might need to open his slots, actually. No, nope, he's good. Ironically, Annex is saying. Ironically, what? Oh, Kevin. Are you feeling okay now? We don't see you going and collapsing again now after you've only just recovered. Eh, come on, Estelle, I'm indestructible. Pretty small timing on my part before, huh? Didn't even get to say hi before I fell unconscious, now did I? Indeed. Everyone was shaking their heads with disappointment when you collapsed. It's supposed to be a dominion, but you wouldn't believe it from the shameful show of weakness. 
Yes, I'm pretty sure everyone was just panicking, especially you, Rias. Actually, can we just get rid of everyone oh, okay. for- No, no, no. Oh, you can't get rid of- You have to have a full party. You ready? Shepard's four dungeons? Damn, okay. I was mulling over all Celeste told us about Phantasma earlier. Strange to think we suddenly ended up in a world that's part of a higher plane of the universe. Thinking about it, this place is probably perfect for martial arts training. It's like being at the top of a tall mountain, isolated from the world. Hey, Zen. Hey, Zen was saying something kind of cool earlier. So this place is perfect for martial arts training. Heh. <laughs> I might not be able to be into some combat style as him. I gotta say no to a chance to get stronger. Say, you wanna join me for some sparring later, Zen? Ha! Huh, sure thing! Boo, boo, boo. Let's check over here. I never would have imagined the very ghost who aided us. All this time he was an ancestor of the Liberian royal family. Still, I can hardly imagine a more reassuring population. I'd like to think that with her help, we may be able to compete against the Lord of Phantasma after all. It's literally a trial of everything you learn across the last three dungeon, last three games. Books? Yeah, I'm gonna check books. That's the goal. Hello, Kevin. It sure seems like you've got a quite a lot on your mind. I won't force you to tell us everything. But given that we've all been caught up in this, I think it's fair to expect some kind of explanation. You'll get one, I promise. Hope you don't mind waiting a little bit longer. I never imagined that would be the origin of the cube we've been relying on all this time. At least now we understand how we came to be drawn here in here. To a degree. Seems like the one directly responsible for that happening was the Lord of Phantasma, too. <laughs> Can't wait to make them pay for what they've done. Nothing there, nothing here. Let's talk to... Oh, Annalise. So you like plushies too, huh, Ren? I'm gonna have to sit back and talk about them later then. We need to find out just how much. Oh, Ren, <laughs> we'll have to talk again later. I still want to finish our conversation from earlier. Be delighted. I think that's a sign that we should... Give us... I think it's give us Julia. She doesn't have much... I've got lots of plushies. My room's full of them. I wish I could show you them. What? You've got that really rare Landmore Limited Edition plushie? I really want that one too. You're so lucky. Um, Alice? I think she's probably the one least bothered about what's going on here out of all of us. So then I decided to give him a name. He's a cat once before too, you know. The professor called him a steel cougar, if I recall. But that doesn't sound like the kind of cat I'm thinking of. The cuteness corner, this really is. <laughs> Alright, well, we've seen those three, so let's put them in the party for now to get make sure we get everybody else's battle. Alright. Oh, there's Richard. Cool. So, Father, how are you feeling now? Fine, thanks. Sorry about worrying you guys so much. Oh, don't be. I wasn't there to see you collapse, so I was simply curious how you were doing. <laughs> okay, Richard. Thank you. Uh, let's check this way again. I might have missed someone here. Oh, Estelle was... Wait, I talked to Estelle. Josh was here. Yes, that's right. He introduced himself as this land of Phantasmas, foremost guardian. Um, Joshua? By the sounds of it, you probably encountered him more times than I have, but... Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to make sure I'm prepared. Huh. That's a weird conversation. And down here we got... Josette. And Chloe. Oh, there's some shiny. It's almost startling how many books are here. They don't seem to be arranged in any specific order, though. I want to think that there's more to this bookcase than meets the eye. This work really does make no sense. I mean, I'm pretty sure what Celeste is saying is the truth, but it all just seems so... weird. Well, whatever. Guess there's no point in me worrying about it. 
Just try and help the princess here. No. There we go. I understood the gist of what Celeste was saying. But that doesn't really explain why there's books here. Especially so many of them. Something is not clicking with me. Oh, look at this weird one. Weird one? Well, what's it called? From Fat to Fit. <laughs> By Gilbert Stein. That's not Gilbert's last name, is it? Wait, oh my. <laughs> These books are really weird. All of the Doll Knight is on the shelf. Okay. Click the weird book? I Oh wait, I can. From Fat to Fit. There's a book called From Fat to Fit written by Gilbert Stein. <laughs> read or back away slowly? <laughs> I guess we should read it. <laughs> well, uh... This guy's, uh... Dedicated. Yeah, let's go with that. I got an achievement! Please erase my memories. <laughs> what if we back away slowly? Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Nice. We got an achievement for that one. Hell yeah. Alright, now give us our squad. You ready? Nice. All right. I appreciate you that annexy. I probably would have never checked that book out. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for me tonight. Oh, yeah, and here's a good save point. Chapter six. More ogre slash spam. <laughs> oh, we're. Our, the rest of this game, I think, is going to be filled with Ogre slash Spam. I guess Gilbert was a fat boy. I guess so. But that's going to be it for me tonight. I need to head to bed pretty soon so I don't screw up my sleep schedule too bad. And we might be back with a stream tomorrow night. I'm not 100% sure. I would usually take Sundays off, but I'm kind of like really enjoying this game. Like usual, but... So if I'm not back tomorrow night, I will be back Monday.